grand finals between Team Queso and Rix. Let's go. But Kenan, I know a player you're particularly fond of when it comes to Rix GG. And also, what are the more vocal ones on the team? So, let's talk about the lineup, the hype matchups. It's going to be Acolyte in the Baron lane versus Leon. In the jungle, Andres Z versus Doom. Ruiz in the mid lane versus Snitch. Ibuchichi ADC versus Friend. And Memorize versus Clue. Um, yeah, this is going to be interesting to see if Team Queso can keep up the performance like they had against Game Lord. Insane best of 5 series. This is going to be a best of 7. So... At least four wins needed to win the grand finals. And obviously, um, the match is going to be pretty insane. My favorites or my prediction is going to be Rix. And looks like they're going to hop right into the draft soon. Dragon lane. A life on the line here. Just, the origin just a bit of smoke. Well, let's get into the game, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Here we go. Wait. Team Kissel. This versus is the World Rix. of Origin Series Championships Grand Final. Best of seven. Seven matches could well be played out today. Of course, it means it's the first of four, and Senna being the first ban out. Very, yeah, very interesting. It's blue side Team Senna Queso's yeah. banning so, Senna themselves you know, this go time. Go back to those okay. first two games of the semi-final yesterday. What was Ibu wrecking everybody on? It yeah, was indeed, yeah. indeed. Yeah, I mean, we talked about it. Obviously, we saw Friend doing it very well on it as well exactly. yesterday against Which Unicorns of Love. Uh, this means Ziggs might be sneaking away through here. The River Bank comes through. The Gragas and Lee Sin. Uh, lots of options available. Of course, think of... Ooh. Obviously, Queso going huge with Diana uh, yesterday as well. The Ziggs band does come through, and there is the Camille. So, what do you value as a first pick? This is very difficult to say, I think. Uh, a lot of the strong picks for Team Queso, like the Camille, the Lee Sin, like Riven the uh, Senna. How Wait, really? I would Why do they ban Riven? I'm so surprised. Mm. I was thinking Are they scared of Doom Riven or Leon Riven? And Leon doesn't really play too yesterday. much Riven. But Galio is super valuable. Uh, we've seen oh, how Fiora, much first pick. Very Ooh, yo, yo, yo. A very early Fiora rotation. Well, for what I can only assume is Leon. However, don't count that out of the jungle. Yeah, count out of the jungle. Oh, Kha'Zix has just been locked in for Doom. <laughs> Denying the Kha'Zix point Andre. It's there was a big though, debate. Obviously. You know, Doom versus Andre's Kha'Zix. Which is better? Doom coming out with a statement game here in this first best of seven. And the Corky coming through. Now, that could be in the mid or the Dragon Lane. We don't really know which way it's going to go just yet. As soon as we see the Ari coming through we know exactly where it's going that's going to be an Ari in the mid hey, you see that was banned in the previous series yesterday mm. between game Lord and team case so Ari banned every single game and actually something that I remember Koki, Ari. talking to me about he's basically Galio, said, why are they banning support, Ari like Koki, we, we don't, lane, we don't Ari, we're not scared of the Ari Diana yeah, so against this will be an interesting okay. litmus test for how good that Ari is here as we see the Diana locked in for snitch for ricks.gg and who's winning it's they literally didn't play any games yet that we've seen it's the first up game at this tournament yes. and the Vi comes through here for Andre <laughs> He has defaulted back onto the Vi when he hasn't had options that he feels comfortable on, like the Leeson of the Kha'Zix. And to round this comp out, we're looking at a Baron laner now, because this is probably going to be Galio's support, and it will be Darius, mm. which is actually not a great matchup into the oh, Fort Fiora, but we have seen Team Queso lane Darius. swap Darius to get this matchup away uh, from Darius. So yeah, be, you know, too distressed if you see a lane swap come out here, because it is something they do into the Fiora Darius matchup quite a lot. Yeah. Something we've seen Queso do, from... there's the oh. Vayne locked in at the final park. Get your exhaust locked in, boys. The summoners are going to be sorted out, no doubt about that one. Uh, it is something we should talk about with Queso, is the fact their value of object control. We'll find out how it's going to go. Here we go, game one. Yeah, but YouTube is better way, because you can rewind. It's way better for YouTube. Series championships. Team Queso starting out on the blue side after their 3-2 win over Game Lord yesterday. And Rix GG on the red side after their 3-0 win over Unicorns of Love. You're going to see Clue and... I think Friend here, something that Friend does play a lot of is this Vayne. I really like Vayne into Darius. You know, if you can get away from that uh, Hextech Proto Bell. Okay, they're clearing the, together. It so it gets a little bit advantage. I don't know if it's fight. so, you do often so see much things work. like the Vayne picked up when you see a Darius or a Garen. This is something that Team Queso did pretty consistently versus Game Lord. They went for that double mid strap. And I want to reiterate, it's a very simple reasoning behind Putting this. Putting the and resetting. To allow Game Darius pass. to get a nice. very early level two. Now we've got an early pause Ooh, here. I think we we'll just going to something sorted out. You can see how long, long they're here. Oh, been a, the a couple player banter is already of there. from the guys, but they're, they're all in good spirits. They're all in good spirits. <laughs> but yeah, that, that Darius tactic, we saw it actually quite a lot from Team Queso into Game Lord yesterday. Game Lord 
did not actually respond the way that I thought you should into that particular tactic. You go Darius you mid level behind. two, you deny some early experience from your mid laner. It doesn't matter. What happens is you go top lane, you get your first minion, you hit level two, you get auto. I mean, it's on pause, anyways. I swear you're What's trolling, it like, Leon it's literally just uh, minion, Origin series being, uh, uh, I mean, the Twitch is being ahead of it. As I, can, and if I, could push it into his tower, I mean, it doesn't really matter if I'm 5 or 10 seconds through, behind, no, it doesn't really matter. At a relatively similar time, and I've gained natural priority through the way the lane is set up. So that's okay, the best. Gold exactly. Let me check. Well, yeah, yeah I'm literally like 5 seconds behind. I'm literally like 5 or 10 seconds behind. What I would say is that is the best way to deal with a level 2, sorry, level 1 double mid strat, is that you need to push that wave as quickly as possible because if you can get it to tower you might deny some minions and then by the time the wave resets you might then be able to get level two at a similar time and this is very important for later in the game when we start talking about the split push that's going guys happen, and we they literally the it's the first game it's literally the first game get in and out holy shit danger. let's go let's go uh, i have seen this a few times already it's literally the first game off yesterday all about the objective control the split pushing they love getting those towers down they won't be looking for the fight they as and when. They will just be looking for the objectives and a fight may come from it. Whereas Rix GG, I feel, will be certainly a team that will be looking for that fight. Looks like uh, we see Acolyte not miss any minions here, but it has allowed Leon now to roam into the blue side jungle and get some vision down. So It'll that be interesting how they're going to play it. There. He's even popped, uh, well, he was looking to pop the, uh, the Scryer's Bloom and didn't quite have that spawn just yet. Um, you will now see him head back towards the lane. However, the lane is in a bit of an awkward spot for Leon. Uh, it's a little bit closer towards Akalai's Like, I would say Pike exactly versus Pike, Team Kesa is the better Team Pike comp. This is something that Andre loves but they're obviously gonna play, like, I don't know, 1-3-1. One, one. He joins mid after his first clear to get like, natural Diana, priority Fiora, for the first pushing, Rift Herald. So it means that the enemy mid can't respond, they can't set up any crazy antics around the Rift Herald. And that means, oh, so the Rift Scuttler, rather, that means he's gonna be able and to get the first Rift Scuttler of the game with nothing really threatening. Against Galio, though. On the other side of the map, however, he's just gonna trade Rift Scuttler for Rift Scuttler here. Galio, Corki... I know exactly where he is. Ruiz did just burn a lot of I mean, Fiora and, and Vayne and Diana again, are so, so strong in the late game. Scuttler, and of course, keep your eyes on how this will play out. But I feel like five was a straight uh, five versus five. Team Kiso should be stronger. Well, and Rix is not going to play five versus five uh, ever. Welcome to what will be a fantastic at least in the early game, at, the, uh, at least in the early game. Mode. Mark, we're going to be looking at both Dragon. Oh, or Drake, whichever you prefer. Where's the lead? You got, are you blind? You can see. Oh, oh. Zero win. Zero win. Zero, 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 two minutes. Are you kidding me? You can see. Almost Holy shit. <laughs> Holy Leon fucking shit. Man. Has put him at a bit of an experience. That's going to be interesting to see Leon on the Fiora. Power spike for Darius at level five for obvious reasons. One of his Long best battles. champions. He likes or he loves to play this Doom push us. Doom's getting good. spotted right here. Vision control from Acolyte means that he's not going to get caught out by Doom Gang. It's been two minutes. He's like, what's happening? You know you can see this here, right? Obviously, in general, we generally tend to see Doom. Who, what? Build zero. Zero. Waiting for level 5 here for Leon though before the gank comes through. He has got a minion wave that is pushing towards him. No one's yeah, but the wave is a good favor. Push, the issue is... Oh, excellent. Are you greedy for the cannon minion? That's the question. Is he going to be greedy for the cannon minion? Okay, now. Oh, he was greedy for the cannon minion. I think he might die here. He's going to die. He gets the stun. Leon gets the stun. Good job. I gotta be honest. I think Acolyte's going to be kicking himself for that. Acolyte got baited for the cannon minion. And he got baited. If you just the reset there, easy. The July Origin series. It was Doom playing through Leon every side to step away. Snitch almost caught out here. Little dash out from Ruiz. No uh, yeah, who's no winning? I, I think you need a time mod, boy. Bro, you're trolling. You need a time mod. The Ari there, so. Ruiz just showing a bit of aggression, but you need a fucking time mod, my boy. The top lane. She's gonna see Leon do a lane swap here, so they're actually initiating a very early lane swap to put Leon down. Dude, Leon is getting so much gold from this wave as well. Funnel, a load of gold yeah, this is Leon so much gold for Leon, so actually, Leon an early start, because he got the top wave and now he wave takes the bot wave bot that just crashed in so instead of really Bane taking it. Gold and experience into Leon. It's gonna put Darius in an even more awkward position because he's gone into the lane swap. But to me, it screams that the priority for Rix lies around the Rift Herald. They're committing their, their heavy members to the top side of the map. In 10 seconds when that Rift Herald's And if you think about it, yesterday, mm -hmm. Queso, every time, went for Rift Herald over yeah, Drake. Yeah, sure. Every single game. I think Leon has like 1k on Darius that. already so, Rift at this Herald point. Rift Herald almost certainly the priority focus, and you can see the fact that uh, Memorize is already here along with Andre 
Doom playing around Leon? Oh, surprising. I, I wouldn't expect that one. Doom playing around Leon, getting him ahead. He's actually only 600 ahead of Darius. That's not... But he almost has Trinity for next team fight. Pretty close. When they have Ibu with the package, and obviously you can see that uh, yeah, they're, they're going to go for the cloud. Makes time. sense. I love this pivot from them, cloud very good for Yara and Vayne. We'll trade this for Rift Herald, and I don't think. And it's very good to counter the barriers. It's going to be hard for to reach it. them okay, without. They want to oh. Oh, they're going to contest both. Darius is pushing bot lane. They're sacrificing the bot turret. Oh, they're all using... Oh, Snitch is going to get caught. They're losing this team fight. Team Case is shouting. And they're going to lose the bot turret as well. They lose bot lane and mid turret. They lose bot and mid turret. Oh, this is so good for Team Queso. This is insane for Team Queso. They get two turrets. They get two turrets out of this. Well, Doom's trying to trade for the top lane tier one, but no, he's not going to get top turret. It's a really bad decision because you know strategically, you're going into a Galio, a Vi, great team fight lock. It was a five versus four. It was a five versus four, and they lost it because Snitch like face checked the bush. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and, and, and oh, I was watching Clue because so I was waiting for that glacial fissure to be almost the. The disengage or like, engage if you play against an Ari, you need chain. to be very careful to not get caught. Also, got package. You never fight objectives when Corky's got package. It's way too powerful. You see, teams try to stall out Corky when he's got package around these neutral objectives, and that is a huge win for Team K. So, when I, Rick's knew it. They knew what was going on, they, they, but they just felt they had the numbers advantage. With you know the issue is? Map, team K so gets the ahead in the early, early game, and they have Rick's the 5 versus 5, five better team fight comp. This is gonna hurt Riggs a lot. This is gonna hurt Riggs so fucking much. This last team fight. Losing two turrets already against a team fight comp and Leon getting uh falling behind. He had 500 gold before ahead and now he's behind. Good CC chain from downtown by ultimate into Ari Charm. He pops. Nice little and now they're collapsing with Fiora as well in the bot lane. The, uh, red buff, they're gonna create some oh, the Leon? Back of that way, Is he gonna get away? Yeah, looks like he's gonna get away. Team Queso coming out swinging. Team Queso losing, uh, using the Rift Herald in the mid lane. At the same time, Vi's gonna push top lane. So it's more like distraction, I guess. A lot of pressure on both top and bottom lane. They can get the top turret. Both in trouble at the moment as they. Well, uh, almost. No, not, not, not quite. Not quite. Here, pulling the damage down down the bottom acolyte. Kiara chasing. Okay. Can you ultimate wasted? So two for zero currently in terms of top turret is gonna fall or three turret lead for Team Queso. Team Queso. So looking very good in the first game Local right now. Right now for Ricks. They picked up that Kha'Zix. It looks like Andre has a plan for the Kha'Zix with the Vi. You always know that There's Kha'Zix a reason Game Lord banned yesterday every game Ruiz Ari. Ruiz Ari got every and game banned so yesterday. Absolutely knocked Rick specific. And mm. clearly, clearly his charm so far Andrew really good. Apart from the vein and, the, the, the and also shouting difference. Where those wind conditions Ruiz is the one shouting uh, yeah, the, the more than Leon right now. I think it's going to be hard for them to scale. Uh, so at the moment, it's going to be hard for them to scale when they don't get ahead early for Rix. Like if Fiora that fought behind early, it's very hard for her to get ahead. In and in team fight, fight they so they straight up never can win team fights. And the Darius that has already Sterox, Gage, Phage, and Rumble, it's gonna be hard for Fiora to split push against them. Like you really want to get ahead as a Fiora in the early game. In final drag in 10 seconds, three people top side. If they stay like this, okay, okay, Doom. That's what they're aiming for. So they're, well, they're to getting the tier 2 mid. Fine, you take I don't know what are they doing. They're going to lose the Inferno Dragon. They can go for Inferno Dragon right here. They're, they're going to dive Echolite. Like the do they get him? They do get him. Burning two flashes. 
They do get him, but they lose the... They're giving Inferno Dragon to Corky Ari. I don't know. Corky with Inferno Dragon in the late game? I don't know, man. Yeah, they want to, because you can see they're chasing Queso down. They're stopping them recalling. They're trying to prevent them to recall, and they're going to get the damage down. Acolyte back up in seven seconds. They almost get one played at least. Yeah, 4k, gold difference, but Inferno yeah, Dragon for free. They, they did get Leon face, ahead with this play, though, so it's all on Leon to, to get them back into the game. It's all on Leon, basically. Like, Pipe was his fight, Rix doesn't have a chance, so they need to collapse on the side lanes. You're worried if you're Rix now. You've got but to it's only like Leon is only 200 gold ahead of Darius. Like Leon Doom camps, Doom camps Leon to get him ahead. Get back in but he's not really ahead. The That's the issue. He is not really ahead. It's a so, four turret lead. Baron, four turret lead for Team Kissel. So they have two advantage. Yes, we did see some early Barons yesterday, but obviously no massive advantage. Aim for either team at the moment. But it's gonna be very hard for Fiora to play this game. I feel like one versus one, he can't do shit still. Like, look, no damage. Use his ultimate, no damage. Fancy the one v one yet, despite the fact they're very much even on level terms. I feel they're even gold. I think a Darius that is even with Fiora is very hard for Fiora to kill him in time. As you correctly mentioned. There is too many Even if you play perfectly, right now, Adarius will bury a fleet, how to kill him. He wants to find the kills and make that split push pressure felt. But he's in a I don't feel like he can split push spot, enough right now because he's not ahead enough. One, and it's almost impossible for Leon to get any headway here, so... It's a, it's a rough spot yeah, that Leon, first, really find that first Herald right fight, now, I think well it cost, um, Rix the game. The map, it might cost them the game. So no they do have Fiora and Vayne late game scaling, so That's you can count them out, but it's gonna be hard for them, because the team fight comes from- Ooh! Oh, oh, the Baron yeah, flip! They, they the Baron flip! Doom! Doom smite this? Doom smite this? 5k? Doom smite this? Andre wants to start the fight, but, uh, okay, face checking? Oh my god. Oh, the Brahma ultimate! What? What are you doing, Clue? He goes in! What? Andres goes in and he kills the Vayne immediately! Andres is low life! Yora gets the shutdown! He's gonna escape! Darius almost kills Clue, I think the passive is gonna kill him. The passive might kill him, actually it doesn't. Woo! I'm not really sure on the flash. I think that I think, he was I think the that buy engage was very aggressive. I think it was too aggressive. Like they tried to combine buy ultimate into get your ultimate, but he was kind of low. We're gonna see exactly how they tried to respond. More time the better for Rix. If you're a fan of this team, you want this vein to get some time to scale up. You want Leon some more time. But yeah, you guys are right. They have like zero CC. Kha'Zix, Fiora, no CC. Vayne condemned. Diana only the ultimate. Braum. Roaming away from that barrel, First they ability and ultimate. To go for the they really like that the team fight is really bad. So I would say one three one later on. Never fight five versus five and keep trying and to find picks off into some on the map areas. and split push. Play on the well, side lanes and never group five versus five. Up. I think that's a game really plan for now. Oh, they've just one shot him. Yeah, Ooh, one wait, shot they didn't show it. Absolutely obliterated. Didn't even get chance. This to might be the Baron call for them now. That's a problem for Without Vayne. For Rick, so oh, the flash call. Oh, nice oh, ultimate oh, follow up oh, onto oh, the Kha'Zix. Oh, if Kha'Zix dies, it's gonna be Baron. If Kha'Zix dies, it's gonna be Baron. They're gonna go for Snitch instead. Oh, Snitch is gonna die. Two people dead. Fiora's gonna. Baron. Should be Baron. TP. Doom needs to use TP. Kiara has been pushing, distracting in the mid lane. Are they are not going to go for the Baron. They can go for the Ocean Dragon for instead. instead go for if the they get the kill on Doom, it's the Baron. If they get the kill on Doom, it's Baron. Very lucky, actually. Like, he was so, uh, so low HP. Very, very lucky. Despite what was available to them, and Queso benefited from it, they do not fall into that trap. No, nope, they're not going to take it. It's only 4k gold lead. 4k gold lead. And they're going to play it safe. Late game team fight. Drake. Team Queso stronger. Team but Fiora, Vayne are going to scale like a truck. It all, it's all about um, if Ari and Memorize. They're, they're like the. 
the pickoff, the pickoff potential of Team Kiss was way better. They have the buyouts made, they have the Ari charm, the Darius pull, the taunt of Galio. I do worry a little bit for Queso from that point of view because they've actually dropped. A Meanwhile, Rix doesn't. They have zero CC. The they have zero yeah. CC. And, uh, Ari 5-1 right the now, games go long, popping. Champions get stronger. Darius kind of Sometimes behind. They hit their power spikes. They Leon does the almost have. Once. It worked. Leon is getting a lot of farm right here. He's almost 2k ahead. He's gonna get 2k gold. But he doesn't go teleport. I don't think he can kill Darius yet, 1 vs 1. Even with the gold lead. He needs to get the turret. The turret is pretty low to be honest. Leon does not. It is something that we can look towards over the next few Yeah, why is Leon not getting teleport? Because there's no way of stopping the teleport if you're Leon. So if, if, if Acolyte wants to teleport here, Leon can't actually stop him, and Team Kaiser oh, will get a natural man advantage. Boy, Memorize, trying to catch someone, doesn't get it. Leon needs to get the turret and the split push advantage. But so far, they're rushing, oh yeah, Leon doesn't have teleport. Leon doesn't have teleport, they're rushing it. Doom almost gets caught, he's gonna end up surviving. Darius will teleport soon in, and Fiora doesn't have the teleport. They're gonna try to stall right here. Baron cancelled. Baron cancelled, nice. I wanna see what's happening in the bot lane. A really nice juke by Doom though to stop Ruiz finding the charm there. If Ruiz, Ruiz had charmed Doom, you he need the teleport. You need the teleport, bro. Team Kaiser, Team Kaiser, if, the storm, if the but, enemy rather, sorry, top lane has storm, teleport, you need teleport as well. You need teleport right as well. But for how long? You do have that. You don't even have the uh, first turret yet. You need the teleport, the bro. I would still say it's very heavily favored from Team Kaiser at this point. When Leon, but he can't afford to leave that. He does have two K gold lead. Tier two through, it will go down so quickly, and you can see what Kaiser's clear objective is right now. I think Koki has package in that jungle on the top side. I can see it on the maybe map. Maybe we can start off the bar, but at the moment, Rix are doing a fantastic job at avoiding and mitigating that. So far, they're stalling pretty good. That's yeah, true. Considering the lead Team Queso had, Rix are stalling very good and they're scaling. That's really important because we have a lot of magic damage coming out from Team Queso from Ruiz and Ibu. And that's going to allow friend to build a bit of tankiness, get a lot of crucial on hit damage. And okay, a lot Leon going to go for this Darrow stage right here. He they're going to go for Leon's Leon spot lane. Teleport, or they're going to they're gonna need to stall five. They're going to need to stall five versus four. They're yeah, rushing it so quickly. We're, we're quite far into this Doom is getting caught. The they're not going to get it. They get it. Leon is still pushing right here. They have the they have the Baron teleport right now. He's only getting one turret. Is now going to be the next Why would you not go teleport? It's not worth. You got tier two, tier. but they get Baron. Baron. They get tier three. It's the just rest. bad idea. Oh, it's GG. Oh, they lost. Oh, GG. They lost. I don't know, Leon. Teleport. Teleport, bro. <laughs> Look, Ruiz holding his fist. Ruiz holding his fist. No, okay, no. <laughs> no. From their side, the, the eyes being made over a Rick saying, You underestimate us, you're going to struggle. And they uh, really popped off in that first game. I don't know. That was a clear goal. A clear I think that pump was shit. One. They wanted Baron. And for Baron. not going teleport is just went, so dumb. As you said, the Baron has been absolutely chunked because more and more items were getting bought. More was being accumulated to the fact. Here. Okay. On a contest, you can see. Oh, wait. They don't have vision and he runs right. I mean, it's five versus four. It's five. There are five people. There is a spot lane. Vayne is not nearby yet. Just off the side there, clip. He runs right into it. Oh my god. Boom, he, he's dead. Memorize, good trap. Very good trap. He dies immediately. Vayne is still in the. Look where Vayne is. Like, Piero's not close. Vayne is not close. He dies immediately, so it's immediately 4 versus 4, four, four because of that. Boom, okay. Bane is still here, super far behind. Darius is bot lane in the same time. They're gonna lose two turrets for this. That's gonna catch one down. That's gonna be... Doom almost exploded as well. He's already low life. Leon already half life. And nice charm. Boom. Yeah, it's already GG at this point. At this point, if you play. Of Fiora in the early game, you have a Vayne that needs to scale, and you have a Kha'Zix that needs to snowball usually. 
and you're facing a very strong 5 vs 5 team fight comp. If they get ahead already, getting the turrets here, uh, Darius was 500 gold behind. He gets all the experience and waves here. He gets the turret. That's a lot of gold as well. So that was really bad by them. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to... I was about to say, I'm gonna say Stockholm, but I don't really know what the weather's like. I've not I think it was just bad communication, to be Stockholm. honest. <laughs> they thought they had the man advantage. Snitch goes in, and he dies. He should have used his first ability into the bush. Like, he has the first ability from Diana into the bush to get vision. He didn't do it. If he did it, they wouldn't have lost the team fight so hard, but he just face checked without using the first ability. And it basically cost them the game. It cost them the game. Ash and Varus are bucked uh, 999 MS buck. That's why they are banned. Okay, game two draft. Another Senna ban. For Team Keso, actually. Let's, see. Was the Aria Let's mute this thing? time. So, yesterday, Team Keso, on blue side, they always first pick Senna. But I think they predict that Rix knows how to play against it. So they don't play for the Senna comp anymore. They play for the pick-off comp. So far, they go for a very solid team fight, 5 versus 5 comp. That also has very good pick-off potential with the Vi pick, with the Ari pick. And in response... Rix is gonna ban Gregors, Ari, taking Ari away from Ruiz, Camille for Actualite and Andreset, and Team Queso banning Riven again, surprisingly. They're banning Zix as well, makes sense, one of the best mages. Team Queso gonna pick Galio for mid lane or support. Rix gonna go for the Fiora Leeson this time. Again, a very early skirmish reliant. Um, top jungle duo so doom probably is gonna play around leon again so team keso just needs to pick a solid weak side that can hold his own without dying to fiora and Lisan. maybe just go for any tank to be honest team keso gonna go for the rakan saya combo in the bot lane a very strong pick pick up potential insane rakan wombo combo with a galio a lot of cc again uh looks like a very solid team fight comp for team keso with decent catch potential. Rick's gonna go for the Jenna, Asriel, um, Jenna Peel and Asriel late game poking security. They don't have a tank. They literally don't have a tank. Rick's doesn't have a single tank. They're gonna go for the Renekton team case of Renekton as their tanky bruiser that can go gargoyle and Andres Z on his Kha'Zix. Literally one of the best if not the best Kha'Zix in Europe right now. And they're gonna go for the cocky on top of that. So a lot of poke and kiting coming in from Rix with the Astral Cocky Jenna. But at the same time, they do have a very good split pusher in terms of Fiora and Leeson as an early game playmaker. So it's gonna be interesting to see whether or not they can execute their early game this time compared to the team fight comp and pick off potential of Team Queso. Game two. It is Queso leading the first matchup, and we were talking about obviously Litner says throughout the whole of the first day. Well, a battle between these okay. two. We know four men roaming. Okay, looks like Leon is gonna go the two men mid this time, like Actualite and uh, Ruiz. Yeah, this time they're gonna do it together. Okay, is that vital? He doesn't Leon's hit the vital. The yeah, he doesn't want to get this time they're doing the same. For here, so they have the better push at this stage. Acolyte takes a lot of damage. Good, this good damage by them so Rick. far. Good mm, poking onto Acolyte. Consistently for, uh, Who's getting but chunked a lot though? He's already low life. Has to reset. Level, yeah, at 40 seconds already. To that mid lane engage. Leon gets level 2, he has the advantage on the Renekton right here. I think they should... Cameraman, go to top lane please. I think that's more interesting to see what's gonna happen right here. Because Leon is level 2, Aculite is level 1. And right here they're just doing... Ooh, they get the knock up, okay. Very good trade for the Team Keso bot lane. Okay, top lane. Ooh. Bit of damage from the minions actually there. 
He still has his honey fruit available mm. though. So Renekton does have the barrier that, though, that means he's got so a maybe he can bait. HP advantage, and of course, is he gonna reset because Leeson might rotate top lane to dive for him. See him try and dive I think he's just gonna play it safe because he doesn't know where Leeson is. And lost the level, lost the level advantage over Leon. That could be absolutely punishing. We'll keep our eye on that one as he plays. He's not gonna lose that much. A little focus all around the mid. Andreas has joined us here. Memorize is ready, looking for Chloe. Oh, make push good. Oops. Yeah, I think a bit of a telegram. Oops, no one. Said it. Oops, my bad. Nope, Before TV, no full screen. Oops, my bad. <laughs> my bad. Oops, I didn't realize I was a full screen. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh no, I'm dumb. I'm fucking dumb. Sorry, guys. Night, thank you. That's my mod. Right in this cut. Screen breaker. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry. I was so focused. I was so fucking focused. I didn't even realize. Back there. No one said and, uh, it. Uh, uh, Wait, did anyone say it? Say it in the chat. Full oh. screen, Doug. Okay, a few and, people. Uh, okay, sorry, guys. Next time I fuck it up right on this card so I can see it. Knight, it's your job. If I fuck it up again. Wait, Team Keso has a 700 gold lead. Oh, might be first blood. First blood for Team Keso. First blood for Team K, so very well played by the Rakan. And Doom is gonna come, but it doesn't matter about resetting. Doom is getting nothing in the early game right now. And Team K, so bot gapping in the. Team K, so bot capping. They're bot capping. Gold advantage weighed in favor of Team Keso again. Getting bot gap in the level four right now, but these getting bot gap in competitive is we haven't seen not that good. It should never happen. Oh, if he goes for the poke, ooh, he should have went. Ah, Renekton. The moment, ooh, the moment, Leon. Ooh, wait, what? Ooh. Almost. Oh, Leon popping. Doom is gonna come. Doom is coming. Doom is coming, guys. Is he close enough? Yeah, he's gonna take that tower hit. That may well prevent it. Yeah. Oh, yes, the blue buff though. Yes, blue buff. Blue buff healing. Nah, they can't. You can see the bot lane also heavy roams coming out from our support. This is very reminiscent of PC League you should, right now. You should never you die two versus two. You should never die two versus Memorize two. Got that big like, now, though, has his ultimate, the one versus one, one, it can happen. Case, like, so if it's again, very close, but two versus two should never die in competitive. Never. Doom, it's looking very bad uh, already if you die two versus two. Rakan roaming a lot right now. Because they have the bot lane prior, because they just won. They're gonna trade Herald for Dragon. Ocean Dragon for Kork and Ezra and Fiora. And Lisa. It's not bad, it's pretty good Dragon for them. But Herald is gonna be a lot of gold in favor of um, Team Kessel, because it, they might be able to secure the first turret. I think Rakan needs to go bot lane. Rakan needs to go bot lane. Leon? Leon gets the kill? He gets the kill. He should be fine here. Oh. <laughs> Leon shouting. <laughs> Leon shouting. He's like, oh baby, I'm so good. They secured it. They secured it. They have got it, I believe. Andre picked that up. Uh, Leon does pick up the kill, though. That I'm not sure if I like their team comps, to be honest. Going for every time for aggressive jungler, aggressive assassin jungler, with Leon on a split push. Like, usually it works, but let's see again the team fight. What Leon did. He goes for the. Dude, did you see his damage? Did you see his fucking damage? He popped the Kha'Zix so quickly, and Kha'Zix was almost full life. Leon 600 gold lead this time. This time they didn't throw. <laughs> Instead of. Last time they were greedy, they went for both. Buffs or both objectives. Close. This time they traded the objectives and get one kill on top of that. That is it. You see the uh, bramble vest picked up by Acolyte here. It is one of the ways to counter an early Fiora Doom. Okay, forcing the flash. It's not bad. They didn't use anything. 
And uh, Leon, you burning the Grand Challenge. You will note, though, Grand Challenge has a ridiculously short cooldown. Yeah, yeah it doesn't really matter if you use ultimate on Fiora. As well, so it does take one summon he gets a two-minute summon up for this. That That's very good for him. For Leon. It's very good. If, Le if, if um, Doom wants to, he can re-gank the... re them well. because he doesn't have Meanwhile, Flash and get Leon more ahead. Here, as you can see, the split push almost starting off early this time. Of course, the bonus is for Ruiz that he can always generally join that party with the hero's entrance. But Ruiz is kind of capitalized or pushed or put into the side lane, rather. So they're allowing their solo lanes to absorb solo experience in the side lanes here. Memorized and Andre are just waiting okay. around... Yoro, sort of big lead right, right now. He almost has 1k. Yeah, see, there's the regang. I told you, he doesn't have flash. Of course, he gets gonna get regang. It's it's just a mistake by it's just a mistake by Aculi to overextend without flash. If you don't have flash, you need to hack the turret, especially if you play against Leeson. That was totally overextended by. Actually, he should have known that Doom is gonna gank him again. So it is gonna be a straight up race that I don't think that uh, Okay, they're gonna take the first turret though. In case they're gonna get the first turret. You know what? I'm just gonna go take Gromp. I know what you're doing. I can't stand around on this tower, but you know what? Now he's gone away. He's got Aldo, thank you for the sub. Andreas in the uh, river there as the rift arrow comes down, just a little poke back and forth between the two. Andreas will sweep it. One turret, first turret advantage for Team Queso. That's decent amount of gold for them. Renekton them falling behind. Making any crazy, he just crazy died, they don't want to land and Fiora already had 1k gold lead on him. And that, this game, when you, when you I the might see the Fiora split push working. The game slow suits Rick's like, uh, Fiora split pushing the whole time, and Corky and Ezreal are very good at stalling, because they have so much poke damage. And you mentioned there's no front line, but that like, it's fine if they don't front line if... Um, TK so needs to catch people, or they force objectives. Rix have the poke. They have the poke and the kiting with the Jenna. I'm loving Memorize Warden. He's always, always active. Making sure everything is safe and feels clearly very confident. Like, all they have to do is stall. Keep poking, never go for, never commit for a pure 5 versus 5. That's what Rick's game plan is. I think it's not bad. Put having Tiara as split push the whole time, and the others can stall with a poke if needed. Uh, just, forcing to just keep poking that, and kiting. Never, there, never go for 5 versus 5, five and try to not get catched, break. obviously, Very by uh, get your Flash Pond or Rakan Engage. And Ezreal Corki with the zone. They can zone away. They can zone the others with a poke. They are trying to go for a potential steal here. Snitch okay. Burn okay, then get... Ooh, the package zone! It's risky what they're doing. It's risky. The kick on to Enreset. It's a smite fight. It's a smite fight. Doom! 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 Wait, Doom didn't get it, right? He lost it. 50 HP. He lost it. Yeah, Doom! I think they're gonna win the team fight, though. They are winning this team fight. They're gonna win this team fight. Actually not! Ibu Chichi popping off! Oh no, Doom! Too risky! No, Doom! It's a smite difference! It's a smite difference! Just about played it perfectly until the end, and as you mentioned, the two shots went wide, that could game-changing, but I've got to give credit to Team Queso. Wait, let me check something really quick. Got into the dragon pit. They forced the 50 50 smite versus Doom. <laughs> and Andre chest. comes out on top there. What the fuck, Saya popping? Yeah, Saya popping, boys. But not enough time right now for Snitch and Friend to be able to scale up. I think, I mean, the game plan was so trying to get the dragon as we had to and Ezreal cocky with zone or pressure they enough that they not the gonna, gonna commit. But they underestimated the commitment of Shinkeso to just go all in right there. Look at the engagement by Team Keso. Memorize is gonna jump in, Gelly gonna use ultimate. Wait, Gelly ultimate got cancelled by Raka, by Braum. I mean, by Jenna. The smite did 50 HP, dude! Dude, what are you doing? This is my difference! boy! And I've got to say, I'm surprised they lost this. I, I think it's the Saya feathers. Saya set up so many feathers, and now boom, the Saya, the Saya feathers. And Jenna got split up, so she just died there in the pit. That's the issue. Team Kesa team fight come. 
And so far the Fiora split push from their trying is not working. Like you're trying a split push, champion, but like, do you guys understand what the issue is? They have Fiora Leeson and they still fight 5 vs 5 the whole time. Why do you try 5 vs 5s? You're not gonna win the 5 vs 5s. Respond to this. Now, you are not going to well win the 5 vs 5s. If you want to play Fiora, you need to split push the whole time. You can't just join the team fight and think Renekton won't have more impact than you. Renekton can be more tanky. Yes, the stun. Way more valuable than a Fiora in a team fight. You can't group 5 vs 5 with your team comp. Let Fiora split push. Don't start the objective. Don't start it. Let the opponent start it. And then poke them down. Poke them down. That's basics when you play a poke comp. A poke split push comp. How do you play it? You don't start against an engaged team fight comp. You let them start it, you poke them down, and then you engage on them, after they poke down. And uh, Kiara's been pushing and teleporting in then. That's the game plan. Renekton doesn't even have teleport. Renekton goes gargoyle. Don't start objectives with your team comp, let them start it. And also, don't group 5 versus 5 immediately. That mid tier one turret. That is their next objective. Got to really praise Team Queso for the way they play their side lanes. I praised it yesterday. Their wave control is some of the best in this tournament. They're constantly keeping the waves, creating natural pressure for them. You can just note it now. Leon being boxed towards his own tier two. There is another wave that's going to keep Corky in at his own tier two as well. That I think not going teleport to with this combo is so bad. And that time is I don't know. To you can't split push. Like, mm. if you can't split push, them when you are only 700 gold ahead uh, against the Renekton, you need to get the teleport. Has placed many times you need that teleport. And Renekton with Gargoyle is going to be way better on teamfights. If you have teleport, he, he has to go teleport as well. And he won't have his Gargoyle anymore in teamfights to tank a lot. And obviously, you never want to start against Engage comp. Look at the teamfight comp. So best case, Team Keso starts Baron, Team Keso starts Cloud Dragon, you keep poking them, you keep poking them till they are kinda low and then you are trying to force a fight. They are starting the, the flash taunt again! Oh no no no, why do you, st why do you start the dragon again? Why do you start it? Why, why don't you let Team Keso start it? Why do you always start it on your own? Why do you start it on your own? I don't get it. Like, imagine you are the poking comp. Astro Corky, what do they do? Rakan gonna go in. Renekton gonna go in. Yellow Ultimate going in. It's so bad if you are the poke comp that you start the objective. He's gonna die here. Oh, he's gonna die here. He's gonna die here. Ooh, he gets a flash. He's surviving. Uh, bad positioning. He lost two summoners for this. Even though he survived, he lost two summoners. So, for the. Andre Zeph from downtown getting the pick off on Corky. Insane. Nice. Good shit. Got a huge level advantage he doesn't have Sumners. Well. Next team fight, still no Sumners. If Rui, if, if Rui finds the flash taunt again, or Rakan, he can't do shit. He doesn't have Sumners. He doesn't have Zonyas. He literally doesn't have any uh, escape besides the Jenna tornado and ultimate. I think the playstyle of Rix is just not working. It's just not, just not like you activate ultimate, you don't do damage. It doesn't, it, honestly, it doesn't even hurt him. Okay. Rakan has the taunt. Boom. Oh, Doom is so low. If Doom dies, it's GG. They get the Baron. They do get the Baron. I think they're going to get the Baron right here. And Leon Split was just literally useless. Played it very awkwardly. No teleport, he can't even join if he needs to. Andrew's that confident, I think he's gonna secure it. There's no, no way he's gonna lose. Andrew's that is very good at smiting. It's GG. This game is GG. They're not gonna win this team, uh, this game. Nice! Memorized insane knockoff. Very well played. 
I trust me, is, uh, this game is over. There's no way for a comeback. There's no way for a comeback. That removes the smite. There was no true shot barrage that was used all the on. Snitch was forced away, and the absolute tools that Rick they they go for the commission needs to be on the ban list for team care what are you doing against the engage comp two times they start the objective and i think the team fight is just way too strong ricks again trying to like assassin plus split push doesn't work for ricks if you if you still fight five with a five when they go for this team comp what i mean you're not gonna win you're just not gonna win how do you wanna no. i'm tilted by the way ricks is playing i'm, I'm honestly tilted by the way they're playing Oh, Rui is going very deep in, aggressive. I don't know if that was a good idea. Memorize. Okay, Snitch. Oh, snitch. What? Oh, what was that? Oh. Oh, my God. Doom looking for the kill, looking for the pick. Okay, Memo, careful. Yeah, cringe. Cringe. And Keso, though, the damage I'm supporting Rix. Oh, I mean, I, I told you I'm supporting them, but <laughs> it's not looking good. The way they're playing right now, it's looking very bad. If they keep playing this play style, what? You pick split push and you still force every five versus five. You start objectives as a split pusher with poking champions. It, they're not gonna win. They're not gonna win. Ah, what are you doing? Really feel like they need to be drafting more team fight orientated about teams nah, nah, nah. Lanes right now. Look at the vision. Rix is playing really bad right, right now. Like really, really bad. Okay, Doom Dead. Yeah, GG. They get Elder. They get Elder. How do you fight? <laughs> miracle, miracle Asterisk deal. And now they're just gonna engage. Boom. Leon's gonna die here. Yeah, the Pyro pick. Stop it. Stop the Pyro pick. It's not working. It's GG. They won it. 2 0 for Team Queso. The Rock Hunt is more good than Doom. Hey, which is just like, what do you want? What do you want? He's like, what do you want? <laughs> why does, why does Ruiz look so mere, like, look so mere, so angry? It's like, what do you want? Oh, fuck you. Okay, game two. Oh, I don't know if Ricks are giving up way too much in the early game. They're not allowing them to... They are so tilted. I think they're kind of tilted now. Okay, look, uh, let's analyze the faces. Mama Snitch looks tilted. Okay. Ricks are I want to see someone step up Game 3, Riggs vs Team Queso. This time they're gonna ban on the Galio that dominated them for two games. Gonna ban the Camille as well. Team Queso actually gonna ban Senna. Which leaves it to Keso. Do you ban Ziggs? What do you leave alive? Lee Sin, was it that big of an issue yesterday? Yeah. Probably not. The Ziggs will go. So Acolyte does play a really, really good Fiora, and this is maybe something that Rix will want to consider. What do you first pick in this scenario? Ari obviously will likely go over towards uh -huh. Ruiz, but they're going to go for the Riven, which was banned on blue side again. Now, Riven is something that I don't think Rix played a Lost all my points on Rix. Yeah. They do get the, the Riven this yeah, this time. Right? The Riven Riven last two games, Riven, Riven was banned. Yeah, this time, they get Riven here, for Ari. Mobile, really they get Riven for Ari. They ban the Kha'Zix. Uh, they ban the two Ari champions from Doom away. He could go for Riven Jungle. But he also could go, go for Sinchal. Probably Andre. He doesn't really, yeah. didn't really see Acolyte play that in the top lane. So it'll be the least in that gets locked in 14k. So Snitch isn't a massive Ari player. So I wouldn't have expected Snitch to lock in the Ari on oh, his rotation. I think his usual answer in this scenario. Oh, the Zin Zhao. Okay. That is something Leon and Riven. Okay. 
Sinshaw Doom on his main jungle pick. Team Kisu going for good early game uh, pick off. The Lee Sin playmaker Ari also. Gonna pick Sona. That's because they go for a dragon lane and now no Seraphine Sona combo getting taken oh, away. Luck. Gonna go okay, for Sona Lux in the, in the bot lane. Uh, Wild Rift Origin series. Very that's strong so poke and in CC lane. in the bot lane. The you deny that the Sona yep. is you deny like their CC is crazy. Ari Charm, Sona Ultimate, Lux Binding. Wait, is it? Sona Lux bot lane. You feed the Sona. Lux is the support. Hello. Pantheon comes through. What? Is that a really Wait, what? Thing? Who's playing what Pantheon now? Mid Pantheon, mid yeah, maybe, that's Pantheon, 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 Pantheon mid lane? Maybe actually. Pantheon bot lane. Pantheon mid lane. Pantheon bot lane. Pantheon mid lane. Or Pantheon top lane. Okay, so I don't know. Like Ruben could go top or mid. Pantheon could go bot or mid or top. Seraphine mid or bot lane. Honestly, I have no idea. They could switch it up a lot. And with the Braum, yeah, and, and there's actually there is Sarah the ADC, yeah. As well. I, kinda like I think it, it's picks, Sarah ADC like, River mid lane uh, or Pantheon mid lane. Seraphine ADC, way, yeah, true. As we jump into it on the rift, and it is, of course, oh, Riven it's it's on niche on River mid lane, really. Oh, this team com was played. Ooh, ooh, careful. A very quick pause. I uh, saw this team comp being played in point. Asia, uh, a similar they, play uh, they team comp, where they go river mid lane, aggressive, down, like two aggressive room, mid and, and top laners, the and then well. AP, yeah, yeah, APC in the bot lane. Something like that, you get a quick little first blood, get you the mental edge back into it. It was a quick pause, we're going to hopefully get that underway. Not only match point, it'll be championship point as well. Championship point indeed, yeah, indeed. if they can win this one out. Now, I will take this time to just explain why Lux Sona and Seraphine Sona, etc. have been pretty popular. Um, there are a lot of items that really benefit shielding and healing in this game. So things like the harmonic echoes and the staff of flowing water, they actually benefit double enchanter lanes very heavily. Mm, so Excounter is good analysis. Nice. If you give that comp enough time, you ain't killing Nice, them. good shit. There's yeah. too much he there's, shielding, there's too healing. Much shielding and too much healing. It's very difficult to deal with them. So <laughs> the one thing that I would say though is I think the Ricks have drafted a team fight that can deal with it, but you need to get it right on first attempt. You have to have a brilliant Seraphine setup to mm -hmm. get the huge burst damage out from the uh, the you know the Pantheon. If you, go, if, if you go Pantheon and Riven, you need to snowball in the early game. You need to find the fight and win the early game fights. Otherwise, late game you get outscaled like a, like so fucking hard. Team Kesel on where they have been strongest. Which Team Kesel has the side better side. late game, we are no longer seeing but side lane having Riven and Pantheon and basically means you need to hard snowball in the early game. You need to hard snowball. You need to play super aggressive. So it's going to be interesting to see how both teams are going to play it out, or how Rix is going to play being 2-0 behind and having to play hyper aggressive. They literally have to play hyper aggressive in this game. But, yeah, I mean, honestly, but I mean, Team Keso still has good pickoff potential. They have the Ari Charm, they have the kiting with the Lux Bind, the Lux bind and the Sona Ultimate. I mean, if Rix face checks again uh, to Ari Charm or something, they're gonna end up losing. Really perform very well with that objective control. I'm just very interested to see how they're gonna deal with that team fight prowess. Now they don't have that Galio. Nice lock up very early on here into Ibu. Pantheon always do this job, yeah. That's true. Ibu playing the Lux. I mean, Riven does have scaling, but I think Riven is not good in the late game versus the likes the, uh, the likes of Lux, Ari, Sona. It's going to be very hard for Riven to find the right opening to go in. They have so much CC. Riven against heavy CC comps is not that good. I mean, if she finds the opening and she gets fed early game, then yeah, it can work. But if you're even gold and they scale, it's going to be very hard for Riven to find the opening. It's the first time I see Snitch on Riven. So it's going to be interesting to see how well he can play it. Because I've never seen it before. But obviously, they banned two times Riven. I'm not sure if it was for Leo or Do, or it was aimed for Snitch. Maybe it was aim for Snitch and Snitch is very good on Riven. But I've never seen Snitch on Riven so far. Doom does jump in. He's just trying to push that wave in to allow Snitch to get a free back. You do sometimes see this from junglers. It basically allows them to uh, get away 
with a cheetah recall and just allows himself to get back into the lane Wait, before he loses any Rix has a fun gold lead just from the minions so far. With this champion, especially, uh, it's something we talked about obviously within. Everyone gets in stun. I don't think he can die here. Barrier. He's very low. They will have a lot of damage onto that tower, but there's going to be Leon that will recall. Yeah. Oh, he's going to stay actually. Burns a lot of the. Summoners from Acolyte early on actually. Leon like might, or they the might die there is because he overstayed. I think he overstayed. He's gonna die here. Flash ultimate, he gets the kill. Nice. Yeah, I don't know. Acolyte was so low. I don't know why he overstayed though. I think both games so far, Acolyte is doing a lot of mistakes. Like last game and this game. Especially then it was. And now he doesn't, I mean, do my three gank. Do my regank because Darius doesn't have someone else. Win rate. He single-handedly made uh, Zinzal meta in Europe, yeah. by the way. He, he, especially when the high elo player base pays so much attention to the esports side of things. He basically crafted the Zinzal meta um, when Zin received all those buffs. And he's, he's gone back to comfort here in a really important game. It's a good start again. He actually essentially forewent his blue buff for so long but has invested more resources into Leon once again. And as I said, he made absolutely no meal of that. He just popped, I mean, we're gonna get to see a replay of the uh, engage onto Acolyte. Acolyte, I understand why he stayed, by the way. You might think, wow, Acolyte, very stupid for staying, but really he had such a big minion wave here. He wanted to maybe get away with absorbing the, uh, the wave and absorbing the experience, but Doom, happy to punish, doesn't want to see any cheeky antics in the brush. He just flash ults, make sure he goes down. I mean, he's gonna have the ultimate again. Anyways, look, the ultimate is already up for the next team fight. I know why everyone in chat is writing uh, ultimate wasted. He secures it because I think he forgot that Darius wasted the flash, so he just flash ultimate to make sure he gets it. And look, ultimate is up again. It doesn't even matter. Anyway, there you go. It's definitely Yeah. I, can't, uh, I, I mean, I'm not faulting your pronunciation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, anyway, to the game at hand, and the game right now is the Rift Herald. That's where we're going. Four minutes, four. Really for what? I mean, it makes Jason sense that like Darius doesn't want to give up the wave, but the dying and then give it, so losing the wave as well, it's not worth to be honest. And giving first blood to Doom for this. In there. Taken the crab down, so that gives them the okay, let's see what they're gonna do. I'm actually, you, you've actually brought up so a really interesting point. I want to elaborate on a little further. They're on red side, which gives them less easy access to the Rift Herald pit. Mm. You have that wall obstructing easy reinforcements over the wall, you know, trying to get people into the pit to fight. You know, Rift Herald is an easier objective to take and set up for when you're on blue side because about how easy it is to support your team because there are no major obstructions getting you into the pit. This time round, I mean, Rift so, does have a decent their, their engage wombo combo. Like so it really depends on if Team Keso can pick up people beforehand in team fights or whether or not they will be able to defend or kite the engage from a Rix out. They do force Rui's ultimate before the next fights. He won't have ultimate now. Ward coverage. Uh, we can see, of course, we have the vision and that uh, Keso do indeed have a ward very much on top of that, so they don't want to go for the fight. They see a little attempt. Mid lane Ruben, very questionable early game. I feel like he didn't do anything. Attention, Rick's head up the river. So far. With the charm, but it is Rick's that set up for this they get the Herald for free, actually. Contested, it looks like, and, uh, I think they're going to be late. They can the fight the... They can fight dragon. the dragon. Team Keso is slow in rotation. Okay, trying to catch him. We... Lose low life, he has to reset. Block that shield damage coming through, but they saw Keso sending in there. Andreas and uh, Acolyte, or Andre Andreas, whichever you prefer, and Acolyte both went in, started out the Rift Herald. Immediate response from Rick straight up the river. They just look at the gold difference the just 500 quick, gold. Quick, but Rift Herald secured for Rick and they didn't lose the dragon for this, so actually, good for them. Now. 
Bumas 1k gold on Leeson right now. Leeson doesn't get anything done for his team in the early game so far. But Ari Luxona obviously in the late game very strong. It's going to be interesting to see. Engage versus Peel and Poke. I hope Team Queso is going to play the objectives correctly. Where they just poke them down before they go for it. And be careful about the engage potential from Rix. Like see, they let Rix start it and keep poking right here. They let Rix start it and keep poking. Okay, Sona. Oh, Sona ultimate. Oh my god, Memo. Doom is low life. Is he gonna get the dragon? Looks like he's gonna get the dragon. Okay. That is a much better early game from Rix. Mm -hmm. Suddenly, on blue side, given some comfort picks, they feel a lot more comfortable engaging in these objective fights. And maybe Rix just seems to get the bot uh, They still have the heralds as well. Just draft a bit more team fight orientated. Well, oh, next whip is coming. I think they can take it, yeah. The next whip is going to come. They're going to take it. Nice. At what they do best. And they're actually doing that this time round. And I think I feel for Team Queso, they were just a little slow to set up on that first mm. dragon. They felt that they wanted to get some kind of objective here. And now Leon's bullying out Acolyte as well. You can see the confidence coming through from Rix. It feels like a team that's a little bit more. The issue is, if you want to poke them games. out, you need to be. To see both teams you need to be bumped up. I want to see the series go all the way. Yeah, the or coordinated ball, enough to, to not get fight. get caught while you're poking. And Sona just Sorry, missed the ultimate. Let's Wait, let's see. They're trying to poke right here. here four people versus four people. Snitch gonna go in. He's gonna catch out the Sona immediately. Sona using flash and ultimate badly. Flash, wasted, ultimate, too late. I mean, he probably nervous and fucked up rather. Just able to prevent Doom from going down quickly. Andre now in the side lanes. Ooh. I think Andre did see Doom though. They're trying to push Leon. I think is is one kick only now. Okay, not bad. This one, but it is a triple stack on the top lane towards Leon to force him away, and they're going to try and take the tower away. This will be the first tower for Kazo. They don't have minions to follow it through. Leon doing a very good job at defending. They're going to drop Ritter on mid. Ooh. I mean, that's Ooh. Answer. It's like, oh, you're going to put the pressure on the top. Ooh, pretty low. Okay, nice apprehend by Darius. Pantheon ultimate kind of gun. Ari's getting uh, stunned. Ari low life. Ari getting taunted by the uh, Serafina ultimate. Getting two kills. Two turrets, they, they can rotate top lane even. Reset and then go top. Suddenly, you give yourself some team fight tools and you look much more competitive in this game. Rix changed that draft up, take away some of those problem picks like the Galio, and they're on the blue side as well, which kind of disrupts that early Rift Herald strategy that Team Queso want to run with. Look a little bit more alive in this series. And Team Queso, they're relying they have a seven K gold lead already Lux with that team count. Nice. to carry them through those late game fights. What this Lux and Sona is, Sona is supposed to do is to support the Darius, support the Ari. Let's look at this see. Fight again. Very heavy engage. Leon able to join okay. with the ultimate. Ruiz gets but the ultimate by friend fucked them up. This at this stage in the game. And the Braum, just so good at those individual Yeah, that's the thing. If you get ahead with this comp, you're gonna snowball super hard. But if Team Queso played it better and safer, they still have that very threatening scaling of the Lux and the Sona when paired together. That's it. That's the issue about this team comp. Like I told you, they need to win the team fights early. But if you're winning early, you can win the team fights and just run them down pretty hard. Very cautious. Memorize's crescendo could be an absolute pivotal beast in the team fight because at the moment it's all gone Rix's way. They've read very much into what they've faced, and we talked about it. Get okay, Black Fever, Death Dance, Derox, Gage. They've also done the side switch, which I feel has played quite I think you should go QSS actually against uh, Lux team, and uh, Sona and Ari Chan. Either Zonyas or QSS. They need to come up with something it's Riven. Do they go? Do they group? Do they look for that big team? Okay, fight? Do up. They Seven point five k in favor of right now. I'm not uh, sure uh, Rick's right here. You can at this point. I, I mean, maybe there's an attempted like threaten of the Baron. You can see them grouping up around the Baron pit. They're clearing the vision right now. 
Yeah, but they're just going to push the top tower. That's what yeah. they're going to go for. Push the top tower down, get the vision, get what you can. They're a little... I'd say Ricks are a little wary that they yeah, may try to push the tower. Yeah, they're going to get them the top turret. Rushing up the river there just to make sure I mean, they're not going to project it, but absolutely will be that top turret. And because that's the top turret was slow anyways. Turret that Kayser have taken down, which is incredible to say, considering how many turrets they were taking across the last two games. I think Doom should just dig so far to Look at the tanky, Look at the more tanky champions. Because the playmaking no, assassins like didn't work, I feel like he well. should stick to Sin Chao, maybe Wukong, maybe Vi. J4. I know he doesn't play those, Cleaver, really, right but I guess then Sin Chao. And we have that staff of flowing water picked up as well for friend alongside like so far the leasons are just not working Everyone hitting on some important every time i see leasons not working up the uh rabadon's death cap for the ari here working towards doom on leeson like not working and reset on leeson not working zept on leeson not working because you need you need to snowball or you pull up behind pretty hard just a little bit out of position as friend and if friend goes down because they are banned friend and noon are banned Friend is that key member. If he gets caught out by Ruiz or kicked by Andre, you could be looking at a situation oh, where they're in a rough just spot. spotted him. Yeah, you can see what they were doing. They're trying to set up a gank, trying to pick someone off there, but Doom just checked at the exact time they went like, from bush to bush. Ash, Varus, Brand, Nunu in, got banned from the tournament the because there is a MS buck. 999 MS buck, so they just disabled them. Otherwise, Doom could play Nunu every game. Against some Keso, for example. No really then you would have the tanky jungler that plays like Lee Sun. But yeah, doesn't have Nunu. He has 5 stacks. He does have 5 stacks though. He's low love, he's gonna die to the Seraphine ultimate. Oh, Androset is low. He gets the flash as one onto Androset. Androset is slow life. Doesn't happen for them. Final fine. Doesn't connect. And that was a Snitch on really split push duty, actually. This game. Uh, get a tower and a kill. It was very risky, as you said, but uh, Rix managed to get away with it. Snitch picks up a tier two in the bot lane as well. Ibu cannot hold him. Use that way. Oh, I just realized my fucking. Oh, a couple of kills instead of cleaning the wave. And a 10k up. Now you can hear Rix's <laughs> voice is a little bit more <laughs> clearly. They're, they're shouting. They're shouting. They're now Rix is shouting. Oh, yeah. 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 I thought I could hear Barra as I was thinking. But uh, yeah, Acolyte, I mean, to re engage, they could have done with the tower sticking out a little bit longer there. But the, as you mentioned, the encore, absolutely call all three. Yeah, and you saw how uh, safe Friend was actually playing that engage as well. He knows he's the integral part of this team fight. If Friend goes down, it looks like a different team fight for Rix overall, so he's playing it really far back. He yeah, but at this point, Rix is just snowballing so hard. There isn't really anybody that's going to threaten him. And they have so to engage. This time they have to engage. They do have really the front line this time. They have a Pantheon that is Brusa that can tank. They have Sinchao that can engage and tank. They have the Braum as well. This time that team comp is not that squishy right anymore just a bit of side lane pressure they're actually drawing ibu away from the fights and if you actually fight without ibu and memorized stacked together you're actually really diminishing the power of this composition overall yeah rix are beaten case of with their own game basically he's going for the split push snitch seems to be team uh, case of when they, they win a game he's got 13k gold that is 3,000 more than anybody on Kayso. So, so absolutely unstoppable. Grand Starfall coming in from Leon there. I think this is just going to be a very snowball game. Acolyte off guard. That's the out transitions because Snitch is still on the They're top lane. They're going to catch the encore through. The crescendo catches all four members of Riggs there. The best engage that Kayso could hope for, but they've got nothing to show for it so far. Oh. They're going to get taken down. They do manage to catch him. And with the Mountain Drake just falling. But look at the turret. Together, You're losing lose your map right here. here. That was a little bit over eager, I think, from Rick. Wait, Lux for the down. defense? I think Riven can just take the turret right here. I think Riven can just take the turret if no one comes. Okay. Keeping this uh, mountain dragon alive, but I don't think Rick's want to take any major issues. It's a three versus three for the time being. Okay, do him. Do him. Oh, running into the taunt. I don't know what they want. He hits the. He can dash in. He can dash in for the steal. Oh, he doesn't get it! Doom! No! <laughs> no, Doom! He tried, but he missed it again. Oh, Doom!
but it's more time for He's actually going to with sand. I feel like he should just go force of nature. I feel like just go force of nature. Yeah, he's still gonna go with. He's, get, he's getting both actually. Might go for Visage actually. For the healing. With your passive. Maybe he's just gonna go Visage. Spirit Visage. But you could hear Kaiso, even off the back of a small win, like a single kill and a dragon, they were hyped. Getting themselves back in the mood to fight here. And Rix, they, they have a clock. It is ticking. It's 16 minutes into the game right now. They have to try and force the issue around Baron. They have to try and get some of these inhibitor towers down. Because if they don't, they're giving a lot of time over to Team Queso. Yeah, the sustain for Queso could be pretty big. Grand Starfall comes in, doesn't catch out. Ruiz immediately charms out Leon the second he drops. And with that key ultimate taken away, it is a pretty quick call down on that one. Uh, it is something they're going to focus on, but that's a problem. Queso okay. calls out. Andres Doom just using to just disengage there. So oh, wait. Small was that? little engagements. Gorilla oh, he used dash into will, second ability. From the two teams trying to catch him. Queso no, has to play this to perfection to come out on top. I think more importantly, you get the Sona. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Andre didn't want to let that one go small for free. Gold lead, small 8k. Wins him, small wins stack up to big you guys know what the issue is? And Queso, uh, they need to set up Baron on force okay, it right now. But Doom right is going to be insecure about his smiting versus Andrew Z. But they they do need there. like uh, the play they need to do right now is Riven doesn't get TP right yeah Riven can split push and the others need to set up Baron clear all the vision try to trap that's the play if you catch Andrew Z you can go for Baron yeah, they're finding it very difficult because the wave clear is so good from Team Queso at this point in time. But as you, you are very correct. We need to see something forced for Rick sometime soon. Now, don't get me wrong, they've got good scaling in the form of the Seraphine, but you, you, you're going to find it difficult to outscale this, the, this sort of the... Um, yeah, the, 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 the Sona Lux Ari. So uh, much I'm poke sure and wave clear. They need Baron. They need Baron and, and they need to end the game soon. To it's going to be very hard for them. Sure that he's threatening Sona, especially... Now that Stoner does not have a flash available. I mean, he's very nearly a maximum like, item. Like, unless you can force them to go out of the base, they will just clear, clear every wave and uh, stall out. They will clear all the wave, waves and stall. You, uh, you literally have to force the Baron or the Elder soon. Starfall to drop in there and get that advantage built out, but it's not going to work out. Look at Andreas. Andreas quickly forcing the lane. We were talking about this in the first few games and yesterday. How good Queso are at keeping their lanes pushed out. 60 seconds until the Elder Dragon spawns here. Ricks have the majority of the dragons in this game, including the Ocean and the Infernal. They are grouping up for this one. They want to ensure that they're at least getting good vision control, setting up a potential gank opportunity. Snitch has to be a little careful. Like right now, uh, Rix is just doing nothing. Kind of I think they're, I I think they're the waiting the for the Elder up, Dragon. It won't come to I think they're waiting for the Elder Dragon, but you could also just two, play for the Baron. Okay, Elder Dragon, 30 seconds. Um, at this point, 17k gold on Riven. Okay, they're catching Leon. But the others are in the base. Is Leon gonna die here? It's gonna survive. They got. Wait, what did they get? Ari ultimate, Lee ultimate are out. They're pretty far out right now. I think they need to engage Pantheon as ultimate. I think they can engage right here. Pantheon as ultimate, engage. This is the perfect time. Okay. Yes, that's the engage you wanna see. Ruiz, Ruiz, kill Ruiz. Pantheon, Ruiz. Yes, he gets the kill. Yeah, they are too far out. They were just too far out right here. Look at the damage from River. Yeah, he's just gonna clean up. Boom. It's GG. I don't know why Ruiz, I mean, why Team Kesu were so far out. Because obviously, you are so far behind in gold, they will just engage on you. Yeah, that's what I said. The Pantheon was low life, but he has the ultimate to join, so just engage this moment. Nice, good shit, 2-1. Two two Brilliant play from Rix. They're a lot more, look at them, they're smiling now, they're a lot more engaged. Team Case, they're actually giving the thumbs up and the clap here. They're enjoying the competition. What did he say, oh, someone? Who's lip reader? Who's lip reader? What did he shout? What did he shout, guys? Who's a lip reader? He didn't... Number four. I got nearly 90 points. Fuck you. Viper Room pointed out there. Well, we'll find out, ladies and gentlemen, because we're going to get into those pick and bands right now. Uh, Rick's with a nice answer, but 
look what's happened. Queso back on the blue side. And of course, that will change things around once again. Banning Senna again. Okay. They are scared of Brand Senna. Camille Ban from Rix. I, I pray to God you're banning Galio. I now pray the very dare you. Usual ban strategy. Do we see the Ari ban? That didn't seem like it was as much of a problem for Rick. Ari ban so wasn't needed at the time. Ribbon ban. Well, hey, the ribbon ban. they let Ribbon open one time. The they lost. Maybe we'll now they know Ribbon, ribbon needs next to get banned. Ban Galio, guys. Ban. Why Snitch wearing a mask? It's like my teammates. My teammates are toxic. I need to wear a mask. It was very impactful in the opening game with it does mean that either you ban Galio or Ziggs here because I don't this game I'm gonna say Rix is gonna win unless they are not comfortable playing that in their comps so how's it been Rix then have to make that choice and I feel like where's Galio the Galio ban guys very where's the Galio ban so, oh are you I picking Galio you yourself Galio and Ziggs when it comes to the final ban and whether you know depending on what team Kato actually wants to take away and they do Seraphim ban they see Seraphim too strong through the window and now you've got the choice Rakan Galio open Will it be? I personally would have gone with the Galio and let the Ziggs through. Um, Ziggs open as well, true. Galio ban. Impactful, and that's exactly what they feel. The only problem is that the Camille is one of the best answers into Ziggs because you isolate him, make it very difficult for him to escape. They are throwing that gauntlet down to Team Queso and saying, "Do you want to first pick the Ziggs?" But of course, that does leave the least in out there. You know, multiple options that Rix will be very comfortable having, uh, and it kind of forces Queso into it. It's like, "Do you want it, Ruiz? Do you want to play Ziggs?" How to counter to Riven or Galio? I mean, try to poke and kite them. Yeah. The Go for a strong event. poke comp with uh, heavy so front liners. The same way. I mean, they, they didn't act, they, they did sort of. Yeah, I think Doom needs to go Sinsha again. They pick Zix. Oh, please don't go Leeson. Please, for the love of God, don't go Leeson. Doom, please don't go Leeson. I mean, Leon and Leeson is okay. Because you can still go for tank then. And if if Leon goes for tanky, Leeson, that's fine as well. They go for Gragas. I think Blue on Gragas support. And uh, with Lee maybe paired with it, who knows what they're going to pair I mean, it could be top lane as well, but I don't think Leon likes to play. Yeah, he's going to... Finally, he goes for tanky top laner. Thank you. For Brusa. Could be Gragas mid, which we've seen sometimes from Southeast Asian regions. Not as popular in Europe, but you do see it over in the SEA uh, icon series and so on and so forth. Could also be going over to Leon. But Stop. I <laughs> Just don't go Fiora anymore. Stop the Fiora. The it's not working. Andre wants to take his... Stop uh, the Fiora. I would not be surprised Lisa. to see a Zin Zhao pick up from Rix on their next rotation. Uh, for Team Kaiser, though, you need to think about how you're going to support and protect this Ziggs in the bot side of the Yeah, they, they need a good peel for, uh, for Ziggs. I think that the, the problem is you can't really answer with Rakan unless you're willing to flex the Gragas mid. Braum? Maybe Braum? Hmm. Okay. Rakan is bad for peeling. I think Braum. Uh, you could go Braum, Janna, Nami, but I feel like you need to tank. So I feel like Braum is the better answer. On that champion. Braum for... Oh, you need a tanky front line. We barely played, actually. Please, we good. Kaisa, by the way. We're talking yeah, yeah, Kaisa. Sorry, guys. Uh, I remember Jenna, <laughs> Nami, Lulu, Braum, Alistair, Open. Who's the best switch here? I feel like Braum. Braum, tanky front line, Pierce, you see. You just need a tanky frontliner that can peel. So you have the ultimate for disengage and you have shield from Braum as well. They, go, they still go for the Rakan though. They want to play aggressive. They have Rakan, they have Darius, and they have Leeson. They want to play aggressive even though they have Zix. Okay. So they don't put all the, all the, all the apples into one basket. They put it, they spread it. They don't put it all into the Zix basket. They're like, oh, never mind. Maybe you want some other options. For uh, the carry or winning the team fights. Oh my god, we completely forgot about the Ari. We completely forgot about the Ari. That's what. Which is Ari? That's so. I guess. I guess. There's Snitch going on the Ari. I mean, we were, we were talking about obviously. They're very good engage. Rakan Leeson. Rakan Leeson, very good combo. Uh, I think I made a video about OMG using Leeson and Rakan, and it was very fucking OP. It's a good, very good combo. Interesting game, ladies and gentlemen.
Get in there, tell your friends, tell your mom, get involved Ricks over in the chat as have well and support three tanks you and then the Ari, they, they have good catch potential. Gregor's ultimate, Ari Charm, Renekton, E Flash, really Stun, or Sinchao. I think they're both solid. Both have solid teamfight comps this time. 5v5 ball of death teamfight style. Uh, we are seeing a lane stop coming through. Leon will be joining Snitch on the mid side here to allow Acolyte, or not allow Acolyte that free lane but they will get the uh, quick push as the uh, Ziggs has got a very very oh quick I like push. the bait look at this the bait the Acolyte has gone away oh yeah he, he pretended just, he to faked, be walking he, he faked out he faked out from the vision and went back down south I like it they are going to keep the Renekton on the top side of the map here for the I think for the reason Acolyte's back in mid <laughs> he's gone back <laughs> are they swapping All right. back no, he's just going to abandon the bot turret they're denying, know, a, feel about that. they're denying a lot of experience here from uh, from Acolyte, but Acolyte knows that in, you know in the in the two v one he fares a lot worse than Renekton does. Yep. Renekton has got a lot of wave clear built in. He's got a lot of inbuilt sustain that he can rely on the minions for. Whereas Acolyte obviously can only get his sustain when it comes through actually attacking champions. Will eventually move down towards this bottom side of the map. Doom I is like on the it. wrong side to punish Acolyte this time round. Yeah, and Rick's well. are freezing the lane, realizing the the situation they are in, so they're trying to prevent. As much as they can, the oh, gonna be the, the flash there. Go. The nice, the Doom. Good shit. Good shit. Good shit. That's my boy. That's my boy. No bias. No bias involved. That's my boy. Let's go. I'm, really I'm clickbaiting you, top one jungler. Don't disappoint me. Even though you missed a bunch of smites today. <laughs> no, just don't now, go for dragons anymore. That's my boy. I think finally Rix is going to go for standard team comp. Like, a very balanced team comp compared to before. Like, before, the first two games they didn't go for balanced team comp. They're going for very, I don't know, split push, poke, squishy team comp. Uh, and we're talking about this I feel like it doesn't like work. You, you, you always want some frontline uh, and team fights. If you want to play here, a team fight, then if you also need to have the team comp for team fights. Like oh, actual lights. Oh man, on you soon. The others are defending though. He's going to be fine. The others are coming. Left a lot of free experience for Ibu on the top side of the map and actually one thing you're noticing here is Leon is well out of it in terms of experience compared to Acolyte. Acolyte level True. 5, Leon level yeah, 3. Yeah, Leon is roaming a lot so and Leon wasting a lot of experience. That's the minion wave somewhere. It looks like he's going to go mid and they're going to rotate Snitch up to catch that top lane wave. Yeah, they're rotating it like this because Renekton would be too slow to catch up the top wave and he would lose too much. And said uh, he's uh, going to get the mid wave. He's there. Go get that vision which he's so very good at. Uh, at uh, taking control, and he's looking for that right now. We're going to see a ward appear in just a moment because that's where. Uh, Mostly in the only level three, because they're swapping and he's roaming back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Rui is here back in mid. We have those uh, Rift Heralds and Dragons spawning relatively soon. You can see that the lane pressure is in favor of Team Kaiser to get a setup. But they're both they like even. Oh, the actually, it's pretty good, bad for them. Uh, like, even though they're first block, they're behind in gold. So it means they, they lost a lot of minions. And you can basically see it, Leon is level 4, okay, he's gonna get level 5 now, but Aculite is already level 6. So basically, the gold tip is probably on Leon and Darius, right here. Very, very interested to see. Do Queso focus the Herald once again, or do they read into the fact that Ricks are gonna try and challenge them there? Well, they haven't actually put any vision down, they usually have a lot more setup. And that's why I was wondering with the ward at blue, I was thinking maybe... I wonder if they can kill the Ziggs, though. I feel like it's all on Gregor's to find the right ultimate to catch the Ziggs. Otherwise, it's going to be very hard to reach or kill Ziggs in team fights. They are committing resources to Doom's up here. Yeah, Doom's up here. So they absolutely want to go for that smite fight. Uh, Scuttlecrab going away to Andreas. Uh, will, of course, give them the vision that they've been craving. Okay, four versus four. Let's see. Let's see what they are going to win. Doom is resetting. Uh, there is a wave pushing into that top side, Wait. so Ibu's going to be huh? dragged towards that top lane tier. Huh? 
Yeah, the bonus, of course, is huh? with the Ziggs. You got Are they gonna go for Dragon? I think Friend is gonna start Dragon and they're gonna so switch it. Doesn't even need to be in there to be get involved what? With the, what? Of course, the Rift Herald being picked up by Kaso. Now, but no? Wait, what? Why are we? I wonder. They certainly in setting up for this one. They've kept the two top laners. Huh? I, I, I don't uh, understand. Oh, sorry, it was 4 versus 4. Lane, and you don't contest and you yeah, just give it. And you know what? I don't, I don't understand. Are they insecure that they don't win 12 vs 4? Yeah, they just give it for free. I don't understand. You can see the natural priority that a Ziggs offers you in the mid lane does mean it's very difficult to rotate out of that lane and then sort of impact these neutral objectives on the side of the map, but it looks like Doom... He's passed over two wards, so they're well aware that he's coming in and around there, and that's why Acolyte's there. It looks like they are just going to give up on that. You can see they've got the ward in the river, giving the vision. Acolyte's certainly going to come close. Actually, Andreas is maybe coming down to see if he can get a cheeky smite on this one. Acolyte just showing his presence. Okay, the Vision steal. He does! Oh, Doom gets it! Yes, Doom! Yes! Yes! He gets the smite! Let's go! been able to get the smite in the 50-50. But they'll be happy with that because they've at least picked up an objective off this. Oh, oh he catches the, the charm into ultimate. I think the ignite will kill him. Yeah, nice. They get him. And six dice as well. Memo's gonna die. Friend is gonna jump in. He just uh, dies immediately. Nice. They're gonna lose the bot to it. I think they're gonna get the mid turret for this, maybe. And the objective, and they may well get this mid turret here. Oh, he doesn't have a wave, he's not gonna get it. They might lose mid turret here. Oh, Ibu! Ibu! Oh my god, friend is gonna survive. 5 0 for Rix. I told you, I was voting for Rix in this game as well. Good level fives, and you suddenly have a little bit more legs when it comes to contesting Team Queso. I actually don't know if you caught that. Uh, earlier on, Ziggs burnt his flash off camera. So that's why they went so aggressively onto the Ziggs, because he burnt that flash very early on before the Rift Herald fight. And they knew that, they timed it, and they said, fine, we we're going to take a couple of kills off this and ended up getting three out of it as well. Great start for Ricks. Great start if you're Ricks fans as well. Going to drop that Rift Herald top, though, to try and at least secure that first tower of the game. You can see they've got a wave building up for it. No one there from Team K, so, or rather no one there from Ricks to be able to stop I think they're going to secure it, so yeah. Will be a gold level Cross right turret now for Team Queso. Like they but they're, they're, they're going to attack Darius for this. Do they have a wave? Your yeah, next wave is going to come. They're going to get the bot to it. Rift Terrors is still up. They are going to try to get the tier 2. Leon is going to reset and try to ooh, ultimate. They are rotating from mid lane. They don't have a wave. They're getting bots. I think they're just going to get one or two plates. One plate top lane for this. I feel like he's going to get the bot turret. I feel like rotation wise, Team Queso is playing it better right now. And Leon is giving a lot of waves up so far. At this stage in the game. Yeah, lane pressure and turret control is something that Queso have certainly. Yeah, wave management well and rotation wise, Team Queso is not playing it bad. Just team fight wise, they played the horrible. I mean, it was the Ari. The Ari charm into Gregor's ultimate yeah, was insane. To be fair. Even though it's 5 0, look at the gold. Even in gold. Literally dead even. 400, not 300, 400 advantage. But 400 is nothing. They do have the scaling. I mean, Zix, Saya versus Ari Kaiser. That's if they're actually ahead in gold right now. Almost okay. They are that even. I'm just gonna say that even. You are looking at a lot of map pressure that goes in the way of Team K, so sets up for their mid-game strategy really nicely, just controlling those side lane waves and trying to push in for Baron control. Oh, trying to pick off Ruiz. He forced the ultimate though. I mean the flash. My bad. So it's ultimate for flash. Next team fight, Ruiz is not going to have his flash anymore. 18 seconds for the dragon. Keeping it on to Acolyte. Wait, Acolyte Leeson has 1k gold on Sinchao actually, I just realized. Oh no, guys, please show the tab. 
Wait, Rakan is getting caught? No. Ruiz is getting caught! The cameraman fucked up! Good job. Good job, cameraman. You are on Dragon and no one's on Dragon. Good job. Good job, cameraman. And Doom will back away, and that's surely the Mountain Drake going the way of Rix. Oh, they turned it back around. The nice charm, nice charm. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, there is, there is, there is, there is. Listen, going back in, they're gonna, gonna get stomped right here. Okay, clear the way. Please clear it. Don't go for the dragon. Clear it away. Oh, he hits the charm! He hits the charm again! That's Snitch! He hits the charm once again! Snitch is carrying like insanely with his charms. People are flaming Ari, but Ari with a pickoff potential. It's just so good. I remember Snitch was the one who was saying oh, Ari is shit, but look at him now. He joined the Ari squad. Doesn't give them a massive gold advantage though. He like, joins the Ari squad. Fight. They're not exactly working with a major advantage coming into this dragon fight. Yeah, I mean, they, they didn't pick up the objective. Yeah. <laughs> but maybe they just want to keep forcing that because they have, what, a 10 to 1 advantage. Still don't have a massive uh, gold advantage yet. Though. No, again, it was just a snitch with a brilliant charm onto a flashless Ziggs. The follow up from Leon is great. Watch this from Doom, though. I like the engage. It was a beautiful cast from, from, from Clue, by the way. That was absolutely fantastic. But watch how the Zinzao ultimate buys you so much space to retreat. Mm. Doom took almost no damage there. And again, watch it again. Oh, we're nice watch Ari it again. Yeah, a beautiful engage, but watch Doom. Just look. It takes almost no damage from this, uh, this engage. And you can't face check a Zinzao. Here we go. We're going straight into it. They're going to look to try and catch the charm. Memorize going to get caught out. He will the Ari charm. The no, Ari charm. Casual oh, average. God. Acolyte does get the pull in on Doom there, tries to get the punishment down, but the bomb misses from Ruiz. Ruiz is very low on mana as well, so it has to back here, and they did take the dragon. That is an objective in the favor of Team K, so you trade one kill for dragon, I think, every day of the week. You'll be very happy with that with the situation that you found yourself in. Rix desperately trying to convert that into a bit of mid lane pressure, maybe trying to set up for that tier one, but the uh, wave clear from the Zyre is a little too strong to contend with right now. They're getting vision control around the Baron, but they ain't they ain't threatening it. It's too early in the game to go for a Baron at this stage. But maybe top lane tier one will be threatened as Clue is waiting in the wings next to that Ziggs. I have a nice treating coming soon. Dangerous about the Aria. When you flamed Aria in the past, but a three thousand gold lead as they get caught out, memorized. I tell you came, what, he came, has not been allowed to go out and get that ward control that he's so often Ari. used to doing. Andreas now in trouble. Ruby's gonna get caught out again. No flash for him. Does manage the satchel charge over the wall though, and they get the blue, so no escape. Yeah. Kick though comes out from Andre, which now maybe sets up for a tower dive potential here. Although I say that a lot of Team Queso resources are invested around this mid lane tier one. They're even going to burn that. Is Nami good right now? Yeah, Nami's cool pretty good. Stage in the game. Happily use that to just ensure that that wave doesn't get crashed. No opportunity to take the tier one mid right now for Rix. They're slowly, slowly chipping away, but it is slow progress nonetheless. And did, as you mentioned very, very aptly, it is a minor, minor gold lead. Despite that kill score, which is so heavily in favor of Rix, it is a minuscule gold lead really at this stage in the game. Very dangerous to read into. Snitch coming in. It's really actually been the Snitch and Doom combo rather yeah. than Leon. Leon's been off the sides, uh, sort of farming leveling at the moment. You can see the level advantage. It is over, uh, Kato. There's quite a few 12s already in there for Rick. So now if they were to go into a fight, they would have that, would have that level advantage. And that is quite impactful, uh, you know, even outside of the gold lead that they have. Acolyte is on the bot side of the map here. 11 1. The Actually, the gold lead is not that big. It's 3k. It's a 3,000 gold lead, even though they have a 10 kill advantage. Just go and get a bit of free experience and create some problems in those side lanes for Rix. So much gold? Better better wave management. They found way better. There isn't really a really solid, like a solid way to engage the fight. Yeah. Like I mean, a lot of minions from Riggs are just really lost to the Ziggs. turrets. Ziggs is very good at wave clear, probably the best in the game, in all honesty. And it, uh, in terms of just sort of separating out, they can quite easily leave him oh, there. Oh, are we you taking know, tons of damage? Mega Inferno bomb. Don't, 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 don't go Baron. No Baron Doom. No Baron Doom. No, no, no. No Baron Doom. Like, look, even though there are 11 kills, the pressure is on Team Queso right now. Gotta be careful as he eats a bomb there. They do go for the engage. Leon takes a 
it's still very close actually it's still very close yeah, they just uh, out position them. They get that mid lane prior. They are constantly looking for an opportunity to get Ziggs onto that tower. You can see that Ricks have to invest so much to get a bit of wave cleared down. He's got no mana. He's got no mana. They realize it. They're saying, okay, we can push you down. You can't. Oh, oh, the flash wasted. Oh, too deep. Leon, too deep. Leon, way too deep. Oh, they get two kills. It's Baron. This might be Baron rush for Andrus, uh, for Team Queso. Snitch getting picked off, actually. Might have no mana, but they might rush. go for Baron or just Mithras. I mean, if they want to play it safe, they go for Mithras. It's Doom dies. Ooh, Doom is getting low, 20 seconds. Okay, they're not gonna go for Baron call. I mean, the Baron call was risky, but 5 was a 3. Could have tried. But they're gonna play it safe. In solo queue, I would say go for Baron right here. But they're gonna play it more safe. They are gonna go for the safe option. I mean, considering they, uh, that, uh, they, considering that they were behind, going for Nash is not that bad because you can get a huge lead from that. But obviously, it's risky. It's more risky. Obviously, it's way more risky because Doom is still alive. They don't want to take any risk. But yeah, Zix in the late game, counts of damage, and be unrestricted. It is even across the board right now, but you've got to remember how hard this is. Like, look at the gold right now, even fight. though Rix has 11 kills. Look at the gold. So, next fight oh, is Elder Dragon is going to be Inferno Elder. Inferno Elder going to be huge for the Zix. Ari needs to pick off people again. Ari needs to pick off someone a with a proof of the ultimate charm. Mega Inferno bomb use, catching three members out there, trying to burn the hit points down, trying to separate them. Doesn't find the charm right here. here. Renekton going aggressively in again. I feel like Leon needs to wait for Ari to find the charm. He goes field. in too early. You, should, you need exactly to find the Ari charm into Renekton stun and then get a Gregor's ultimate. Like, Leon going in too early is just losing them the team fights right now. Used by Clue there to force them away from the turret. Wait for Gregor's ultimate so, or wait for our recharm and then go in yourself, but not you before that. The confidence is building for Queso. That strategy just wasn't working out. <laughs> oh, the bait from Andre. Oh, yeah, yeah, just a safeguard away there. Strategy wasn't really working out for them in terms of the uh, converting those picks into anything. I mean, they did snowball, they but they tier one with Gusto, but. Didn't snowball enough. They didn't snowball the enough. Case, though, and, uh, and look at the really gold now. It's dead even. Still dead even. And late game, game Zix, yeah. he doesn't like Zix doesn't have void stuff yet. Oh, but 2k in 2k more gold, Team Queso will be so strong with the Zix void step. Oh, actually, like, oh, never mind. 2.8k. 2.8k. How much gold does he have? He has 400. Yeah, 2.4k. In 2.4k gold, Zix will be a god. In 2.4k gold. You need to do something before this. If Zix gets Void Staff, you are fucked. Zix Void Staff, you are fucked. He will stall the game forever. He will stall the game forever. Unless you find the taunt. Uh, I mean the charm. Or the Gregor's ultimate. He will stall the game forever. And he does have Zonyas. He does have Flash. He has Barrier. Like look, they can't get the Mithrid because of Zix. Zix is just clearing the whole time. What do you do now? Bait them out what there. do you do now? He's not falling for it though. It's <laughs> very disciplined from him. No, no, and obviously he, he's always got. Whoever gets the next uh, uh, Drake will well, decide to win. Yeah, the that's kind of true. Inferno Elder is Arkham so like fucking that, that huge. But the Ruiz is just stalling forever. He's just stalling to forever right now. Protobald. Ooh, he's low. Ooh, he's low. He's low. Wait, Memo trying to find engage. He doesn't get it. Doom. Oh, Doom is low life. Okay. Uh, going gold there, trying to pull away from that one. Woo! Woo! Not enough! Oh, not the The Zix! The Zix damage! Oh no, no, no. And Elder Dragon is up. Elder Dragon is up right here. 
And Rick's Wait, a friend doesn't have Zonya's or what? Really can't contest this Elder Infernal. You can see the team case are going to work their way straight over towards 25 it. seconds for friend. I, I don't think they can do it yet. Now nah, they can rush. Never mind. This six is a problem, by the way. He voids death pretty soon. Yeah, uh, let's see the goal. Does he have voids death? I think he has two components. I think he has enough for two components. Blue, I think you need to reset. Uh, reset, maybe. He's uh, half life and no mana. Half life, no mana, Dragos. I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one. Oh, they're rushing it. Friend is coming now. Oh, I don't know about that one. Ui. The six ultimate for the zone. Six ultimate wasted. It's a 50 50. Ultimate. Oh, whoa. Rakan. Rakan. Rakan, baby. Rakan into Leeson. But Team Queso is killing in the backside right here. Akira trying to run him down. He gets the five stacks soon. Five stacks. Five stacks. Boom, ultimate. He gets him. Ooh. Who's alive? Only Leon. And they could turn towards the elder. Dude, Rakan, boy! Rakan is the problem! I prepared the tree plates on Rakan. Oh my god, it's GG. It's GG, they lost they lost the game. They lost the game. Elder Dragon on Zix. In Elder Dragon Inferno for Zix in the late game. It's GG. It's lost. It's lost. They lost it. They lost it. They're not gonna win anymore. They need a miracle team fight. Rix needs a miracle team fight, but I don't see it happening. Zix is wait, Zix doesn't go for Void Staff. Okay, they don't have uh, okay, they don't have magic resistance. Not that much. Anti heal. Because they don't have anti heal. I don't know. I would go for Void Staff. Why does he go Void Staff? I feel like Void Staff would be better. He can shit on Sin Chao and Gregos for free as well. And at level 10. When everyone is level 10 or 15, the Void Staff is still gonna reduce everything. They're rushing it. Okay, if if Doom is gonna be here, it's his time. He's too late. It's game over. Game over. It's GG. It's GG. It's GG. It's bye-bye. Wait, what is Memorize doing? What? What? Why? He even has flash. Look at the Zix damage! Look at the Zix damage! Holy fuck! What do they deal with? Do they go for acolytes on the top? Do they go for the mid? They have to protect one of these turrets because they're both being pressured at the moment. I don't know what Rakan was doing, but there was two ends. It was pure end. Look at the. Look at the next damage! <laughs> Look at the six damage! We see the ultimate damage. It's too fucking. I mean, Elder Dragon Inferno, blah, GG. It's just GG. Bomba Man. Lord, the me Memorize is shaking so much, actually. Holy shit, you can just see that? What the fuck? Like time and time again, I mean, so they so much. From Ricks, but they converted it into nothing because Holy the shit, man. So consistent. And again, I've got to praise Oh, the BMing. Keep case of BMing. And their macro players absolutely unparalleled at this competition. I think they've clearly, clearly leveled up from you know, they've got to win three games in a row now. Team Queso are one win away from claiming the Origin Series Championship and also booking their spot in the Horizon Cup later this year. Instant Galio ban, first one out. It was a problem for Rix in the first two games, no doubt about it. We had that change around, but Ziggs is going to get removed. We saw how strong that can be. Even if you I think there's said, custom seconds the for time mode. Yeah, I think so too, but I don't know the command for like one minute or something. Though from a fundamental level, Team Queso are playing better. Oh, dude, an A, an A is gonna meme the uh, uh, Doom after this if they're if they're gonna lose. And A is gonna meme them. You got fucked by Queso or something. Oh, I have an idea what to say. Wait a second. 
I don't think Ricks are giving themselves enough agency in their drafts. I don't think Ricks are drafting enough to say, well, when we want to pull the trigger. I have an idea for a nice tweet, by the way. I have an idea for a nice tweet, no, but I see. He posted something, and there was another picture. The center goes out. There's the lease in taken away. Been very strong for Andres in the last uh, game, no doubt about it. Wait, where's the edit? Someone edited across, this. Which means they have something else focused for their first pick. Now, what do we see here for Queso? It is the Camille, which leaves the, the Ari open, the Gragas open. What do we feel is more impactful here for Ricks? I think Gragas is the safer bet. Has the flexibility, doesn't offer up too Yellow, much. Yellow, Kha'Zix. Listen, Ben, Zix, Senna, Kamiya, what are they going to have first pick? River, no, Riven is open, they take the Riven again. I feel like Team Keso might have an answer this time though. Maybe they have an answer for the Riven mid. They get the Gregors. They do get Gregors, Memo is going to be happy. Actually it could be Acolyte as well on Gregors. Beyond memorize, we don't know as the Ruiz will get himself his RE. It's been so strong throughout. Yeah, absolutely. I think Queso will be very happy with their first phase of the draft here, as you said. Likely going to be memorized. Gragas. They get Gregas and Ari. They're going to be very happy, actually. Role we have in the uh, Baron Lane position this tournament. It'll be Zinzao immediately for Doom, though. Uh, Rick's trying to craft a comp very similar to the one where they actually picked up a win. Ooh. And the Seraphine has slipped through the draft again. again. So, I mean, one thing for Doom, he has been involved in uh, First Blood 100% of the time he's played Shin Sao so far in the finals, uh, but those on calls were absolutely on point. The question is, what do Riggs pair with this? Uh, they are debating exactly what it will be. Of course, Darius will get locked in once the game for Acolyte. There is, there is Corky. Corky coming in for Ibu. They go for the Sincho so Seraphine Rhythm. So it's a similar comp like game Ibu three. To provide that big strong front line. Oriana does get locked in here. Oriana. Uh, maybe we see they have the very strong poke. You know, they have very strong poke this time. The Seraphine paired up with the Sona or the Lux. Sorry, it will be the Sona that comes through. Very heavy scaling here, um, but there isn't, apart from Doom with his ultimate, so much frontline to speak of. It does mean that we are going to see, I think for the first time, Leon on this ribbon this time round. Yeah, true, it's uh, Leon on ribbon, actually. Team Case yeah, is very, very standard, kind of like back to front style team comp. We have a little bit of isolation with Dubai and the Ari, whereas Rix, it's very heavy scaling. And that's, that is one of my worries here. You need a lot of time to get this Seraphine Sona going. Yeah, what we've talked about before is the fact that they are powerful when they get the early game. Let's get that match underway, ladies and gentlemen. Game number five. Will it be Queso that take the championship here, or will Ricks fight back once again? 100% win rate for the blue side so far, which does favor Ricks, of course, and challenges Queso's love for that Rift Herald. Queso have been so good. I really can't take anything away from this tournament. I think that all of their fundamentals have been so incredibly strong. Leon. I've been very impressed. It's a really early wave shove for Leon and uh, Snitch. Leon will be able to hit level two very early on in that top lane matchup. You can see that Acolyte has responded by trying to shove the wave as quickly as possible here, but we have a very, very mobile ribbon who should be able to get into the top lane without losing too much to the tower. Yeah, if anyone knows how to counter that, it's Acolyte, who's yep. been doing it to everyone all tournament long. <laughs> That's for sure. Uh, it does mean the Doom's coming down for the red buff early on, so he's going to be getting that one smite away and carrying on uh, on his merry way. Pretty much standard reverse pass for the junglers. We'll keep our eye on that, because as I say, okay, Doom has been involved in the early fight so far. That's a lot of damage going down on Tsubu. That is the danger of this combo. Sustain and damage can be piled on quite quickly. Yeah, very difficult to uh, pressure these guys out, especially with the uh, combo that you're seeing in the lane here for Memorize and Ibu. They're not exactly going to have the same amount of pressure that you would uh, expect a lot of answers into a Sona Seraphine lane to have. So they are going to let these guys scale up and they're just going to hope that they can kind of take control of the mid game. Uh, Gragas is a great answer, I think, into Seraphine Sona in general, though. It's a very, very easy way to... Uh, we have... Oh my god, that's the charm oh, he's down. The charm. That's the charm he's down. the charm. He's going to go in for Ruiz here. Oh, Ruiz? Andreas, okay, so Andreas is going to die here. Wait, Andreus Andreas surviving! He used might. He used might on the scuttle! He hits back! But, oh no, they're gonna get fucked right here. Acolyte has to... Memorize is gonna come right here. Boom, he gets the kill. 3-4-2, that's not bad. 
Dude, they're shouting so much, actually. Crazy. Absolutely mental fight, but it was Acolyte that had the priority and was able to roam down a lot more quickly. I understand what Rix did. The charm was down for Ruiz. It kills a lot of the Ari's power, but they were able to just collapse behind the Darius. Watch this. Great flash from Ruiz. Stops a lot of the damage coming down. That smite from Andrews. Look how he was so low. He smites the scuttle and gets some healing back. That was so clutch for him. Those stacks up. Leon immediately forced out. Snitch flashes into the pit. You don't really have any mana to work with right now. It's also an Oriana in the early game. You're not exactly going to be doing work. And it's just a great response to an aggressive push on the Rift Herald. And what, to make things worse, the Rob Salt in the wounds right now. It is a Rift Herald, sorry, Rift uh, Scuttler secure for Andre, which puts Team Kaysu in a great spot in this stage of the game. They got double scuttle as well. They double scuttled. Yeah, double scuttle coming out of that immediately went straight down there. So, 1,000 gold differential given across to Rix there. And he may just give them that advantage they've been looking for to try and force out that Rift Herald early on. I can see Memorize already coming this way. It's about a minute early, though, so he's going to wait a moment. Look at Andreas. Andreas sneaking into the top lane, trying to be unseen. They're, trying to, they're rotating everybody up here. Yep. They're gonna, what they're doing is they're stacking a wave. And they're trying to force on the one away from the on tower the right now. They're going to try and catch out Ibu on the same play. But there's a lot of minions and a lot of golden experience being forced away from Leon. They're trying to go for the first tower. Dude, Kiss was dominating. Kind of. The I think they might sure be able to get the first the turret here before Rix. Ruiz is kind of low life, but he's going to survive. Leon is very low right here. Who's going to get the first turret? First tower of the game, surely. 400. Here, as you mentioned. Uh, uh, so show me the bot lane. Team Keso gets it. That's the, uh, a lot of gold for them. Because, uh, Team Keso gets the first throw of the game. The That's gold advantage. They can clear it. They can clear it, actually. And they're gonna herald. You, Team Keso's... Team Keso's playing the map way better already. Team Keso's playing the map way, way better right now. They get first dragon, they prevent the bottling turret, and they get herald. And with the herald, they can take another turret. Might use it in the mid lane. Oh, they're fighting. Oh, they're gonna fight this out. Ultimate missed by Friend. Friend wasted his ultimate. Friend wasted his ultimate. Darius has Dox's might. Darius has Dox's might. He, he's dead to dragon! Andrews said they're so low life! Ibu Chichi! Oh, I think he's too deep, he's gonna dash out. But the, the Herald in the mid lane right now! They get the dragon, they get two dragon, two turrets! They get the dragon, they get two turrets! Holy shit, Team Keso is popping off this game! They are playing way, way better right now. Ricks are in shambles. Throw down the Herald instantly. Ruiz wants more. He's gonna come. Ruiz gets the Herald. Oh no, no. Oh no, no, no. I think running. this is looking. This is looking so well. very, very good for Team Keso. And very, 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 very fucking bad for Rix right now. This is looking insanely bad for Rix. This is looking very bad for Rix. It will be one of the best comebacks I've seen in competitive because they are. This would be. If they win this game, it's gonna be very hard for them. They do have the late game Oriana, Seraphine, and Sona. But at the same time, um, Team Kesu's come is also solid and good at diving them. They don't have a tank except for Doom. They don't have a tank except for Doom. Noxus might on the Darius. Look at this damage right here. And he, ste he also steals the dragon! Doom, what are you doing? Oh my god, no. It's looking not good. It's not looking good. It's not looking good. It's not looking good. I can tell you, it's not looking good. And with that, and with that gets the kill. And Soros also die. They will get the bot turret out of this. They are getting three turrets and snowballing. This looks like a wrap for Team Keso. Team Keso is going to win this game. Team Keso is going to win this game. It's looking very fucking good. Rix is getting dominated completely this game. They are getting smashed. They are getting smashed right here. Six minutes in and they're almost 8k ahead. Not 7k. 7k. That's big though. Darius is so fucking big and Riven is only 5k. And Ruiz gets another kill or two. Solo Bolo. It's Solo Bolo time. 
Ruiz has the 2k gold lead, 2.2k gold lead on Oriana right now. Oriana's 03. Snatches tilted. This guy is tilted. Seven minutes in. You are looking potentially at your new Spanish overlords here in the This might be. This might be one of the greatest performances by Team Queso so far. They are dominating this game completely. Winning the map across. No, winning everywhere. Winning everywhere across the map. There is a head. Everyone is ahead. Everyone is ahead. Leon has two kills, but he's still 2k gold behind Darius. 10k gold lead almost. What is Clue doing? What is Clue doing? What are you doing, Clue? Oh my god. It's GG. It's GG. It's GG. Nothing they can do. They've got no this is a clinic from Team Kess. It has been a clinic all series, mm. D-Man. They have just got everything right, and honestly, Ricks have just not been able to contend. From the Brad. very beginning... Exactly. Very, very good performance. performance. Insane, man. TQ is... Oh, Memo. Memo, careful. He's chasing the charm. He's gonna get fucked here. He's gonna get fucked here. Oh, boom. It's GG. It's GG. Guys, it's GG. It is GG. It is GG. It is GG. Oh, they eat it! Oh my god, that was sexy! It is so fucking GG. Ah, uh, okay, okay. It is so fucking GG. But he flashed my memorized. I'm, I'm wet. I'm wet right here. You're me crazy too. What do you mean? It is GG. It, it's fine. Point, you are just looking at a team that has an insurmountable lead to work with. They can do whatever they want on the map. Ooh, it is not looking good, my boys. It's not looking good. It's not looking good. I think this is going to be Team Queso's win. I think Team Queso's going to win this right here. Team Queso is going to win this game. But this is just pure gold advantage working through. They're not able to make that late game stone of seraphine work because they have unfortunately not given themselves enough time to work 10 with. fucking gold lead yeah Great defensive shot grade from snitch but it doesn't matter defensive shot it doesn't matter seven minutes into the it game, doesn't matter anymore the game, unless they can see better unless they see baron's gg right now unless they see baron's gg at this gold difference they can't do shit anymore they're just diving them completely they don't have a tank they don't have a tank look at every set he's just diving for free it's just GG. It's just GG, man. Oh, what? Never mind. What is happening? What? The turn. Andrew Ted gets the ultimate boom. He's just running him down as well. Three for three, actually. Wait, never mind. Okay, let's hold. Let's hold it. That wombo combo from Shona, Seraphine, and Oriana. Oh, maybe we can stall it. The idea was there. The execution even lined up on that team fight, but Team Casey were just too far ahead. Leon leading the charge for his it's team. It's a charm. The charm comes in. Acolyte, though. Ultimate? He yeah, he has ultimate, don't I? It was a very good wombo combo, by the way. Have to back away. They do save the turret, though, but it is a ten thousand gold differential. Can Rick still go to Horizon? No. Only one. Rick's only one team. Horizon Cup. Oh, they're trapping. They're oh, he doesn't have a ward right here. Right Darius is not nearby, though. But, uh, with that up, that Maybe. I don't know. I feel like really Rix thinks they have a comeback potential now after that game. play. And before him, they were playing like really, I don't know, just giga tilted. This is game five? Yeah, this is game five. You're still building back you can see at the top bar what's happening. It's 3 1 right here. Okay, Doom. Doom is gonna get caught right here. I think Doom is gonna die. I think that's GG. Oh. Oh, oh, Acolyte! Beep, beep. Taking a lot of poke damage. Acolyte is gonna die. Dude, the, the kiting and the poke damage is really insane. I feel like Rix are and team fighting wise are really strong still. Even though that 10k got behind, it's a one for one. They might. I feel like right now they're getting confidence back that they can stall the game. They, I think they're getting confidence back right now. But it is still a big advantage in the favor of Team Queso. Doom had to make that check. 10k gold lead for Team Queso. They should be. 
I don't know, they should be winning. Harder, so the team fights. Quarky's only 7.7k. They have got no control over their own jungle and therefore no control over the river. So a face check is the only tool that they have in their, their, their arsenal to actually get onto the Baron. But the sustain, as you mentioned, there's two stuff of flowing waters coming through right now for Friend and Clue. He's providing a lot of team fight sustain and a lot of team fight backing off. Clue and Friend have their, their ultimates available here as well. And it's just elements of team fights that Ricks can work with. It's about whether Team, uh, team Queso play into that again. Because a couple of fights now, it hasn't actually been clinical for Team Queso, and they've allowed Ricks to actually make mm. their comp work the way they want it to. So 25 seconds on the board it will be. There's only one way to win if they get Elder. I think they can stall. Like team fight wise, they're still very good. Because they need to find the opening with the Gregor's ultimate, the Ari charm, and the Vi ultimate. Like full five with his five, you saw if they can peel back and kite back. They're doing really good. Fair play to Rix, you know, they're very much aware. Now the dragon coming out. They need Somebody to stall and pray way. right Somebody now. To risk it. Memorize there. That's gonna give I feel like clue. Team Kesa is now aware that they no, need to play they're just trying to get more the safer. Yeah, they're gonna try to trap right here. Let's see. Oh, Ari's gonna chase. Let's see. They might get caught here. I feel like they might get caught. Never mind. They're gonna trap or reset. Then trap him. I feel like at this point, Team Kesa needs to trap. Team Kesa needs to trap and pick them. Before be the Baron, they need the Baron. Ricks know they can't contest dragons right now, so they're just giving them up because there's nothing else they can do in this situation. As we said, they're just desperately waiting to get enough gold. They need to find the opening. That's the thing. They are not finding the openings right now. Yeah. They have Gregor's ultimate. They have the Ari charm. They have the Vi ultimate. Vi ultimate kind of tricky. So basically, Gregor's ultimate or Ari charm. And now they're trapping and finding or looking to see if they can catch people right here. At the same time, they are rushing the Baron right now. The push comes in, but that's a great nice charm! Snitch is almost dead. Step he activates the Zonyas. He's gonna escape. Doom! Doom is gonna get caught right here. One more combo, they're all bunched up. Wait, Corky goes in, he almost dies. Boom! It's GG, they won. Are they gonna win it right here? Only Prem is alive. Can they end it? Can they end it? Or are they gonna go? Are they gonna go for. Are they gonna slow him? Oh, he fucked up the E-Flash. He fucked up the E-Flash. I think they might be able to end it still. 15 seconds. What can they do? I think they're gonna reset. I think they're gonna reset. If Gregor's hit the E-Flash, maybe they could have killed um, Seraphine and end the game. But now they're just gonna reset and set up Baron again. The Darius ult. Darius uh, ultimate did so much damage, by the way. Fucking crazy. Look at the Darius ultimate soon. Boom! Look at the Darius ultimate. Boom! Look at the Darius ultimate! Look at the fucking Darius ultimate! To actually contend properly in these team fights. The encore, the crescendo, the 14k wave, gold lead. 14k. The damage was just ever so slightly locking. You saw Ibu off. Gregor's doesn't have ult, uh, doesn't have flash. Gregor's dashing out. That is about the worst target you won there. How you can dash away. I mean, Team Keso should win this. Definitely. They can trap right here. They don't have vision. Trying to find the charm. Gregor's E. Gregor's E and Ari charm. Right. Is they are they engaged the right now. They do have the scuttle. Yeah, or is it uh, just a ward exactly there? Or the game pause, really. TQ oh, going to Worlds. Probably. Very likely. Okay. It would be unbelievable if Rix gets a comeback right here. It would be insane if they get a comeback. I don't see it. Honestly, I don't see the comeback. I don't see it. No way. Look, They're rushing the it. Doom is not nearby. Doom is almost oh, dead right here. Yeah, yeah, it's free Baron. Doom is almost dead. They get the Baron. Leon, can he be the hero? He gets it. He gets it. They get the Baron. Let's see. Darius has Noxus Mike! Darius has Noxus Mike! He's gonna run them down! It's GG! Team Kesno are the uh, Horizon Cup uh, contestant! They are the original final champions! They are the original fighter champions! I'm gonna put I'm gonna tweet right here. I'm the first to tweet. <laughs> I'm the first to tweet. Congratulations, Team Keso. She's won! She's won! She's won! They're like so hyped now! She's won! She's won! 
She's one. She's one. <laughs> That's so hype. Congratulations. GG Team Queso. GG Team Queso. GG Team Queso. Insane. Very good. Insane. Team Queso was kind of underrated. They showed off. They beat Game Lord. They beat Game Lord and Rix. They beat Game Lords and Rix. That's insane. And now. Celebration tonight, Team Queso will eat good and party hard. <laughs> party hard. Insane. Team Queso is the European champion represent uh, represent <laughs> represent that. Dominant performance over here. Yeah, Insane. GG. Team Memorize my OG teammate from AOV. Here. Nice. At Good job. We have two AOV players, two ML players, and... No, three AOV players. Three AOV players. GG. Congratulations. Congratulations. Team Gesso. Talk. Got a couple of questions for you to celebrate it. So, this has been yeah, I'll talk for you then. This has been a four-month journey for the team. Nice. Actually, insane. say no, I think everyone was voting for either. I I think most people were like Game Lords or Ricks, but Team Keso showed that they improved with their boot camp and they won it. Very good performance. They are gonna be Honestly, to Singapore, the best team that I have ever seen in the game. and um, the coach is from uh, Clash Royale. Well. The coach is from Clash Royale, by the way. So this is for them. They have worked a lot. So. Well, your team's certainly been uh, one of the more vocal ones we've had in the arena today. In your honest opinion, who would you say is the loudest out of these lads? Oh, freaking Reese. <laughs> oh, he's, he's, he's so annoying in the house, you know. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Your journey doesn't end here. You've won the Origin series. It means you. That's gonna be it for the YouTube video. If you guys are still watching by now, you guys are the MVPs. Congratulations to Team Keso and see you next time.
Alright, hush.